Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I had to run in here because I just stepped on a freaking thorn. Or not a thorn, but... You know, I don't know what they're called. They're like a burr. It's like a burr. It's like one of those little balls that has a little jagged things coming all out of it. Well, I just stepped on one right before the stream started. <laughs> and I was like grabbing my foot and jumping through the house. It hurts. My dogs drag those in from the outside. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So today we're going to be playing Strange Town Saturday, of course, of course. Get myself settled here. <laughs> and I think I fixed my problem with the audio. So anybody who's watching this back on YouTube, let me know if the volume is better now. I think I found the problem of why the audio was lower on my stream playbacks on YouTube. I think I got that fixed. All right. <laughs> oh, it's good for you guys. It's better for you too, Borsha. Okay, great. Great. Okay, so let, it does sound way better for you guys here too. Okay, that's awesome. I think I found like some obscure setting buried deep in my computer that wasn't turned on correctly. So I think I got it. All right, great. Okay, so let me go and uh, just ping the Discord here while my game's loading up. And we'll get ready to play, y'all. Oh, and I just realized I don't even have the chat on. There we go. There's the chat. <laughs> <laughs> There's the chat. Um, they, oh my god, thank you so much, Christina, for the six months at tier one. Thank you so much for that six month sub. I really appreciate that, Christina. Thank you for the follow, Joella. And okay, I already got to hydrate. I already got to hydrate. Let's go with that for psychology. And thank you again for the six months, Summer Bees. Thank you so much. It's so exciting. I'm starting to see some six month subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for the cheer, Basti. Okay, so I'm just going into uh, ping the Discord at notifications. I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. I am. I love Saturdays, my favorite day of the week. <laughs> going live on Switch right now. Okay. Oh, we got Hype Train. All right. Thank you so much for the four months, Paris Noel. Thank you so much. And level two Hype Train. Did you guys notice we have new emotes? So check those out. If you, you are a sub, you can use all of the new emotes. We now have 18 emotes for, for tier one. And thank you for the follow, Lolnia. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, God, I know I'm probably not. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it, Christina. My Saturday's going great. I just woke up two hours ago, got a little bit of work done, got ready for the stream, and here I am. Thank you for the follow, Jocelyn's reading. Oh, heck yeah, Hendrick. There we go. All the, all of the uh, emotes. So I have to thank Sammy for creating our Melba, our marshmallow, and our bread. And I have to thank Nikki and Nikki's sister for creating our meme time commercial break mug and pacifier. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, and my disappointed face. Thank you so much for creating those for me. That was so nice of you guys. And then I also uploaded some more of my old emotes that I was waiting to upload. We got a rip. We got a pillow. We got a lol face. We got a Cindy with a heart. <laughs> so use those up, guys. Okay. And yes, thank you for the shout out, Nathan, to all the emotes. <laughs> And thank you so much for the cheer, Simmer Girl. And thank you for the follow, Sour Limes. And the follow, Triceratops99199. <laughs> and thank you for the cheer, Nerdy Crochet Wife. Oh, I love your name. And thank you for the follow, Fran. And thank you for the follow, Toto Dashi. Okay, so guys, the, the game is loading up over here. I'm pulling up Strange Town now, so we'll go ahead and get you guys over here. And thank you again for the cheer, Basti. Thank you. <laughs> And so here comes Strange Town, guys. We are going back to the Smith family today. So Jenny Smith wants to have 10 kids. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for giving the gift sub to Weird Simmer, Christina. Thank you so much. Thank you for the follow, Marcus Lamp. I got my coffee over here. And I'm ready. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to go. I look so tiny on the screen. Do I look really tiny? Thank you for so much for the three months, uh, Carson. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for the follow, Bajon Batty. <laughs> the sweet, strange town map. Yes, I know you guys wanted to see that lovely flyover. I look normal? Okay. I raised my sub goal. I did. I raised it to 10 because you know what? 
I'm I'm going to try to get 10 now. <laughs> I'm a partner now. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Alex. I'm glad you like the new hair, guys. This is my this is my in-between wig. Actually, this is my work wig that I used to have to wear to the office. So, it's like one of my really nice ones. It's one of my favorite wigs. But uh, I'm wearing it now cuz I'm waiting on my new blue wig to come because blue is just like my signature thing now, so I can't let the blue hair die. Um, but my old wig was getting a little it was time to retire it. Um, so I'm waiting on my new one to come. It's completely different style, and I think you guys are really going to like it, but it's still blue. <laughs> I mean business. This is my business hair. I'm serious when I wear this hair. I got to give presentations and stuff. <laughs> I would have blue hair as a sim, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, another blue wig, but this one's different. This one's different. Um, it's a different color of blue. It's a different style. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, oh, thanks so much for giving the gifts up to Crystal, Christina. Crystal begged for gifts up, and Christina yeah. answered the call. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and now you can use the emotes. <laughs> Thank you, strawberry, strawberry court cakes. And, oh, I also had a follow from Soupsy. Thank you, Soupsy. Okay, so let's go ahead and load up the Smith family. I think we have two days left to go. And I'm pretty sure that Jenny is pregnant again, y'all. And this is going to be, what, her fifth out of ten that she wants. Now, she may have to do some adoption because she's getting pretty close to elder. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to have ten biological children. But we're going to try our best. We're going to try to have as many as we can. <laughs> Simcoe, I will do longer ones, yeah. I will do longer ones. Yeah, the quality is better, Marta. Okay, I'm so happy to hear that, guys. I had no idea that it was so low for you um, because it sounded normal to me, but I went looking through my settings and I think I figured out the problem, so I'm really glad to hear that. And guys, feel free to tell me if there's any ever anything like that that you think I need to fix. I am open to uh, making the experience better for you. I'm so glad you're back, Christina. I'm so happy to see you here. It's a lot easier in Sims 2 to do once-based. Joella, it really is. Um, and more fun. Then it, Sims 3, it gets a little more difficult in Sims 3 to do it just because of the way the wishes work. But it is still doable in Sims 3. Um, but yeah, it's more fun in Sims 2 in my opinion. Oh, that's awesome, Nathan. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad to hear it. Um, I cannot imagine having that many babies in real life. No, I can't even imagine having one baby in real life. Ten? Heck no. <laughs> the good thing for Jenny, though, is that all of her children will not be there at the same time. Thank you so much for the three months, Borsha. Thank you so much. And thank you for the follow, Pinky. You. You'll be downloading mods. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Octomom did it either. I think she had a lot of help. I think she she would have had to. There's no way one human being could take care of eight babies. There's just no way. It's just impossible. You need a bus to go on vacation. You would. You totally would. Okay, so let's check. Uh, Jenny, she's actually, she went to work today. Remember, she had to escape. I was trying to keep her home from work so that she could stay home with Paul and help take care of the twins. But she escaped on us. She, she had to get out. She couldn't take it anymore. She had to get a break. So she went to work. She's still working as a nurse at the hospital. And so she's gone. Her needs are not that great. And I do highly suspect that she is pregnant again. Optimom didn't have sister moms. That's true because all all her kids were the same age. They were all babies at once. That's got to be rough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, back in the older generations, like our grandparents and before them, it was very common to have 10, 11, 12 kids. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever done that Ancestry DNA, but I did one and Mr. Pleasant did one for our families. And if we go back several generations, almost every generation, there was like 10 to 15 kids. And because they needed those kids to like work on the farm and stuff. And there was a lot of sister momming going on, I believe. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the four months last in Ateria. I never feel like I'm saying that right. And thank you for the follow local moon face. Your grandpa had 14 siblings and uh, my stepdad has uh, 10 brothers and sisters. So yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so let's check on Jill. She needs some fun. She's been sister momming it up, and she needs. She just finished her homework too, uh, but she needs to have some fun. And I forgot what is her hobby. 
I gotta check on her hobby because I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. Gotta pull up my spreadsheet here. <laughs> Your sister-in-law has 10 kids. Holy moly. That is a lot of kids to take care of. Thank you so much for the follow, Subway fan. And thank you so much for the six months, DM Rogue. Thank you. Okay, let me share this hype train emote. Choo-choo. <laughs> All homeschooled. Oh, my goodness. Heavens no. Heavens no. That is too many kids underfoot, if you ask me. <laughs> for me, anyway. I guess some people can do it. <laughs> Obviously. It's been done. Okay, so Jill's um, hobby here is, oh, watch it, film, film. Uh, she likes to watch movies and TV. So let's send her down and have her watch a movie to get some fun. And then we'll check in on the kids. Uh, time to watch an action movie, Jill. Jill, right? Yes, Jill. I always get Jill and Jenny's names mixed up. So then we've got the twin girls here, um, Judy and Jade, if you didn't know. Uh, they just recently aged up to toddlers, and they are doing okay right now. Paul is sleeping. He is exhausted from taking care of these two. Now, we shouldn't have too much time left until they age up. Thank you so much for the cheer noodle belly egg. I got an ask me anything. It's The question is egg, and the answer is egg. <laughs> Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> and uh, let me see. I got to ask me anything from Miles. Still shook from getting the Twitch partner? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm still like every day I wake up. I can't believe it's true. <laughs> just look at all those eggs. That's my answer. I take, I take it back. My answer is just look at all those eggs. <laughs> That's a pillow. That's for pillow fighting, Fernanda. So I had that made a long time ago whenever I was doing YouTube. Whenever I was doing Sims 3 on YouTube. So that is a pillow for whenever our Sims 3 Sims pillow fight or our Sims 2 Sims, but I really made it for Sims 3. Okay, kid. I hear you. <laughs> this kid wants out. And let's see if we can wake Paul up. Okay, he's had enough rest. Time to wake up and take care of your children. Um, so let's give, this one is Judy. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to remember which one is which. It's a little bit difficult. We also have marshmallow. We have marshmallow pillow. Well, see, there's already an egg emote. It's just like a generic one, so you can just use that one. Maybe we'll get ourselves a special egg for just for us. <laughs> and I got to hydrate down there somewhere, too. Let me do that. And thank you so much for the two-month uh, sub, Snowy Oreo. And thank you for the cheer, Simmergetic. Oh, it's so nice to see you here. Um, guys, remember, I always tell you to go follow Simmergetic because he's the one who makes the funny um, Sims 2 music t uh, videos that we watch on here. So go and follow him on Twitter and Tumblr. You don't judge Judy for wanting to get out. <laughs> Judy is Michael Jackson and Jade is Cher. That's right. They do kind of look like that, don't they? Thank you so much for the Prime sub, Darkster. And thank you so much for the two-month Prime sub, Swans. Thank you. Aw, that's so nice of you to say. Okay, let's see here. So I want Paul to come and give this baby a bottle. Get bottle for Judy. Get that bottle for Judy. Come on, come on. Our maid is here. Genesis Lamb is the maid for this household. And Paul also wants to have 10 children, both Jenny and Paul. They have talked about it and they have agreed that they both would like to have 10 children in this house. I don't know what craziness has taken over their minds. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Erisita. Who's excited to stuff their tummy on Thanksgiving? Well, you know what? I'm actually looking forward to not stuffing myself this Thanksgiving for once. <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to. Okay, we have a big problem with this room. It is too small, and we can't get to the fridge very well. So I'm going to have to move this fridge out of here. Gosh, we're running out of room. I think I can move it right there. All right, well, now go get bottle for Judy. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Paul only needs four more kids to have ten, but uh, Jenny needs five more. That is right. Is it four? He only needs four more? No, Jenny needs six more. That's what it is. Jenny needs six more. I had to think about it. They have so many kids. <laughs> 
Well, I think we're not going to probably do a Thanksgiving gathering. And so since it's just me and Mr. Pleasant, um, we probably won't do a huge feast. Oh my God, look at that. Look how adorable that is. They're fighting over the bottle. <gasps> that is the cutest thing I ever saw. And Jade won. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Oh my God, that's so cute. We can give our pets a feast. That is true. Um, That was really cute except for... Jade, okay, Jade doesn't need any. Judy was like, or Jade does. Jade was like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Give me that bottle. <laughs> that was adorable. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Or not that I remember. Um, I'm not cooking either, Jody. I'm not. Do they do that in the opening credits, Mary? Oh my God, I, I, that's so embarrassing. I never watched the opening credits, <laughs> but I think they do. Now that you say that, I think they do. <laughs> thank you for the follow flame and uh shout out to crow simmer on discord who helped darkster get the sims 2 running today all right shout out to crow simmer he's very helpful in the discord i don't watch it anymore either mary I've, i haven't watched it in so long unless it was by accident <laughs> toddlers fighting for food that's adorable okay let's check in on jenny because she just got home from work and she is so tired y'all she is so tired and also we need a gardener really bad so we got a lot of stuff to do and she's ready to woohoo again but you know what you need to go get yourself some rest the babies are doing fine paul's in the shower and i'm gonna have paul go and uh hire a gardener right now because they need it they have four thousand simoleons so they're doing okay financially uh, thank you so much for the follow, D. Thank you again for the cheer, Basti. And uh, thank you for the follow, Phoebe, if I didn't say so before. And I got to hydrate, too. I don't know exactly how it works, Fernanda. I don't know what makes one sim win and, and not the other with the toddler fight. Um, not garden club. Oh, God, no. Do we already have a gardener? I think we already have a gardener. I must have I must have already hired one, guys, because I don't have the option here. So I guess I already hired a gardener. I am not hiring Garden Club. Oreo cream cheese truffles. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Martini Girl. Do you like martinis, Martini Girl? I don't like martinis. I have to I have to admit. I have to confess. <laughs> I find I don't like vermouth. It's like really too too much for me. Okay, so let's check. I'm trying. This family is difficult to play because there's so many of them. So, Paul, why don't you come potty train Jade? Let's get Jade on the potty. I'm ready for these girls to age up. And we've still got two days. I don't know if we're going to see them age up or not. Thank you for the follow, Gujon. Gujon. And thank you for the follow, Mel. You don't like martinis? <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> Thank you, Cole Crab. I know you're bringing up Thanksgiving. Everybody's starving to death. <laughs> okay, let's get her on the potty and let's check on Judy. Judy also needs to go to the potty. Oh, Jill's coming down to do some autonomous sister momming. <laughs> oh, mac and cheese. Ooh, yummy. That's the only kind of pasta I like. Oh, I'm glad you could make it too, Briz. <laughs> We're already at food. We already started, Hendrick. We're not even 20 minutes in. We already started. Okay, let's have Jill um, go potty train Jade. Jade. No, Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> I can't tell them apart, guys. Everybody has a J name. I can't tell them apart. It's like the Duggars in here. <laughs> No, wrong one, wrong one. Get this one. The one you were already holding. <laughs> You're eating ravioli. <laughs> I like a cheese ravioli. I could have I could go for that. <laughs> you would love chips right now? Yeah. I I can't I can't have chips in my house because they just like taunt me and I go crazy on them. <laughs> Big booty Judy. <laughs> I don't know if we want to nickname our toddler Big Booty Judy. <laughs> okay, she's going to take a shower and oh my god, everybody's exhausted. 
Everybody is exhausted in this house. Oh crap. I'm gonna knock my coffee over. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the two month sub, Ray. Big booty Judy. <laughs> That's gonna stick. That's gonna stick in my head. <laughs> you hope Judy wants to go in the law career? Judge Judy. <laughs> She she would even look like her with the red hair, right? A little bit, except for the alien skin. <laughs> yes, Jill is a sister mom. She really likes doing it, though. You know, she I I almost feel like she's a family sim, but she's actually popularity. But she really does like taking care of her sisters. Okay, let's check on them. They're doing okay. This one needs a bath. Um, Paul, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, please. You gotta stay stay in shape so you can care for these babies. So which one needed a bath? Ju Ju Big Booty Judy. <laughs> Faith Judy. I know. I thank you for that. No, I'm never going to be able to stop calling her that. <laughs> I think Jenny is pregnant. I suspect it. Okay, why is my game frozen? Why is my game frozen? Oh, God, what was that? Did the season change or something? I don't know. My game froze for a second. That's weird. Um, let me save. Cause I get nervous. I get nervous. <laughs> she needs to get pregnant right now. Well, she's sleeping right now, but I do suspect she is pregnant. But uh, when she wakes up, if she's not, she wants to woohoo. So it'll be time to try again. We're going to let her get a little bit of rest though. <laughs> Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you. Please don't take my man. <laughs> I gotta name a baby Jolene. Oh, oh, I gotta hydrate too. Did I do that hydrate? I don't know. I'll do another one. Okay, and we got a commercial break, and I'm so happy that you did a commercial break now, Lucy, because I have got some A plus commercials to show you guys today. <laughs> so, Paul is gonna bathe a little Judy, and then I think the babies will be all right. We probably need to put them in bed after that. And then we can start focusing on Pole and Jenny. But let's do a commercial break, y'all. They do love the xylophone, don't they? I wonder if they're going to be musical. Okay, while well, we're watching... Okay, we've got one day until Jade and Judy grow up. I cannot wait. Oh, my God. And then we've got two days before Jill go either goes to college or ages up. Um, but that'll be the next round because we only have two days here. Or one day left here. Um, give me one second here, guys. I already got this bookmarked. I got this all ready to go. You guys are not going to believe this commercial that I found today. <laughs> it sounds so bad. It sounds, it sounds like innuendo, okay? All right, you ready? You ready? This is the slob stopper. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It cracks me up. Um... <laughs> And just watch this guy, okay? Just watch what this guy does. Has this ever happened to you? No, it hasn't. It hasn't ever happened to me where I pour coffee into my mouth and then just let it flow out of my mouth onto myself. <laughs> watch this. Just watch this guy. Watch him again. Has this ever happened to you? Close your Introducing mouth. Introducing the Slob Stopper. <laughs> Forget messy spills and unplanned accidents. Just slip it on Look, and enjoy well, your busy again. lifestyle. Perfect for your commute and everyday use. Made everyday with polyurethane use. laminate fabric, the slob stopper absorbs on one side and is waterproof on the other. This is with the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Protection. Don't worry it's about covering up stains anymore. It's Go a to slobstopper.com and order today. <laughs> slob stopper. Oh my god, it just kills me. It kills me. Has this, this. ever happened to you? Close your mouth! <laughs> he takes a drink and then he just opens his mouth. It's so stupid. <laughs> yes, a giant polyester bib. Only $14.95. It can be yours for everyday use. <laughs> oh, man. That is... That that one really got me. That one really cracked me up. Even more that It was the acting. It was the acting. Just A+. Plus. A+. Plus. <laughs> Bibs aren't only for babies. Oh, crap. Let me go back to full screen for you guys. What did I just hear? Did somebody just fall in love? What the heck was that? Oh. He oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a booty call. We just had a booty call go down. 
<laughs> They're going on the couch. Oh my God, don't go on the couch. Are you seriously going on the couch? Is he sunburnt? <laughs> No, no. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Our new objective here. Our new objective is to keep everybody out of the living room. He is totally sunburnt. Okay. <laughs> I, I did not see that coming. I heard the little crush sound. All right, we got to keep Paul out of there. Did they just fall in love? They just fell in love. Oh my god, they fell in love, guys. Um we got to keep Paul out of there. We cannot have him walking in on that. Okay, come put the baby in the crib. Come put, put Big Booty Judy in the crib. <laughs> come put Jade in this crib. And stay out of the living room. Whatever you do, don't go in there, Paul. <laughs> put Paul to bed. It's time for you to go to sleep. It is. Look at it. Look at him. He needs to go to sleep. He needs to take a nap. These two idiot teenagers. You can't. Oh, there they go. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. You get sunburnt in Strange Town just for taking the trash out, Cersei. <laughs> I would too. I would too. I am. A, I am very, very pale. I'm sure you can tell, and I burn very easily in the sun, which I haven't seen in months. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got some sunlight the other day when I walked early in the morning, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm probably vitamin D deficient. I know, just doing that while your parents are home, just going right into the couch. I mean, the least they could have done is gone upstairs, you know? It was very weird. But uh, Paul's going to go to sleep now. <laughs> go to sleep, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Jill is actually 16 or 17 now. Um, I think she's 16. She's 16 now. So, yeah, this is her... That was her first experience with love. Her first taste of love <laughs> she just had there in the living room um, with her boyfriend, Buck, who is very, very sunburnt. He is very, very sunburnt, and he has quite a large nose on him. <laughs> oh, God, where are you going? What are you doing? All right, she's just going to the kitchen. I got to watch these two. First taste of grunt. <laughs> Oh my god yeah the grunt boys are not playing around they know what they want oh thank you so much for the raid simming bird thank you so much um i just noticed that i'm sorry we must have been watching a commercial break but thank you so much for that and they oh i got another commercial break from zinnia okay let's 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 get this day finished real quick and we'll do another commercial break so let's get you some food jill all right, get leftovers. She's hungry. Um, but Buck will not leave her alone. They cannot. I do not have teen pregnancy in my game, so my teens cannot get prego. Um, thank goodness. Because you see how that works out for me in The Sims 3. Angela, Angela with her three babies before she even ages up to young adult. <laughs> Buck is really hormonal right now, yes. Oh, I got a meme time too. Okay, we're going to do commercial and a meme time. And thank you for the follow, Emily. And thank you for the follow, BMD. Thank you. <laughs> okay, buckaroo. <laughs> Jill ain't no Angela. That's true. Okay, J uh, Jenny just woke up. She just woke up to come in and... See what's going on. She needs to have some fun. Now, I know how she wants to have fun. But you know what? I'm starting to suspect she might not be pregnant. I thought she was. We've got 13 days until she's an elder. So, okay. Let's go ahead and do the commercial break in the meme now. And then we'll wake Paul up and we'll try for baby again. So, let me see. I got another commercial for you guys here. The one I was telling you about before that I could never find. Oh, look at Buck. Is he talking about grandchildren? He was just talking about grandchildren with Jenny. He's like, I'm going to give you some grandbabies. <laughs> oh, my God. She does have super fertility. Yes, she does. She does. And so I think Paul does, too. Yeah, they do. I know. I know. <laughs> So that commercial I was telling you guys about the other day that I couldn't find that was like the the gotta go thing. I found it. I found it. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you right now. Actually, it's really, really something. That's all I can say. All right, here we go. We're going to do our commercial and we're going to get back to babby making. We're going to get back to forming babbies.
Every man has been there. That's how it starts. Okay. <laughs> Baby making against the clock. That's right. <laughs> it's better than the slop napkin. <laughs> Yes, it's better. It's my gotta go. And I checked. This is no longer a product. They did not succeed with this, guys. There used to be a website, but it's down now. Okay, let's go. Every man has been there. You want to use the restroom. You have to urinate. <laughs> but a bathroom break is not possible or desirable. <laughs> Introducing the gotta go personal care device. I think they made Whether that in Microsoft Paint. the game or on the job, with a gotta go, you can go anytime, <laughs> anywhere. You're He's in a long meeting. Right now. You're a truck driver. You're hunting big game. With the gotta go, you can enjoy Look activities like golfing, <laughs> snowboarding, or skiing without these minor inconveniences. Also great for Homeland Security, SWAT teams, and police officers. What? Men with prostate problems or aging seniors. The gotta go personal care device is discreet because it's concealed. Made by durable materials, it's washable, easy to use, sealed tight so no leaking will occur. It's Handles what can be an otherwise messy process due to its one-way valve. Just release the valve to drain when a restroom is available, and you're good to go. So when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't succeed, y'all. They didn't Every succeed. Minute. Oops. They didn't succeed. But I just want to say... I just want to say... Hold on. Where's his face? Come here. Come here. Oh, no. He's go. Oh, no. He's going right there. He's going right there. He's going... <laughs> He's going right there. Um, where's the other guy? This guy. <laughs> Time anywhere. <laughs> He's going right yeah. now. Oh my god, even if you're in a meeting, if you're in a meeting at work, you gotta go. You don't leave the meeting, you just go right in your jock strap. <laughs> you're know. in a long meeting? You're a truck driver? Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Just pee in the bush. Just pee in the bush like a regular man <laughs> or woman or whatever your gender may be. Just pee in the bush. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Amy and Nia. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What were the instructions? Look around and act like you're peeing in your pants. <laughs> Okay, we got a meme time too. So uh, let's do let's find a meme. I don't know what kind of memes you guys gave me today I've been finding a lot of good memes lately, but I haven't done a meme dump. So I'm gonna see what you guys got for me <clears throat> <laughs> This is a funny one. This is from sweet simmer We've got oops um, my brain is like an internet browser. I got like 19 tabs open. Three of them are glitching. And where the beep is that music coming from? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's so true. I relate to that. I relate to that. Let's do a poop on that one. Come join the discord. Yes. Come and join us. Submit your memes and commercials. We have a whole bunch of stuff going on here. You can see we have all kinds of fun stuff. Come join us. Come join us. We're very active. We have over 2000 people in the discord. Sims pack trailers, the pack. <laughs> That's so good. That's so true. That's so true, Alec Aches. All right, let's do a poo on that. Okay. Oh, well, we can already see this one, so I guess we got to watch one more. From Fish Lips. Fish Lips is in here. Fish Lips, when did you get in my Discord? <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub, Marius. The two-month prime sub. Thank you so much. He didn't want to share his leg hole. Vincent and Whitney. <laughs> oh, that's a good that's a good uh reference to an old one of my let's plays. Thank you so much, Fish Lips. <laughs> thank you. Okay, guys, thank you for the memes. Keep those coming. All right, here we go. Back to the game. <laughs> I'm glad you could join us, Joella. Everybody is welcome in the Discord. If you're a uh, Twitch sub, even if you're on a gift sub, you can join our members only uh, channels and you can also be invited to our members only live streams. Because she didn't exist yet. My Sims 2, my Sims 4 save is 25 years later and my Sims 2 actual uh, Let's Play went 35 years after. Okay, Buck, um, I think it's time for you to go home. <laughs> I think you've 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 overstayed your welcome. So let's say goodbye to him and let's send Jill up to bed. 
<laughs> she still didn't really get enough to eat, but that's okay. She's good. She's good. And then let's check in on Jenny. I'm going to have her go. Well, let's check on the babies first, I guess. She's going to take a bath, so we'll let her do that. <clears throat> He's going to get thrown out. <laughs> um, so she's going to take a bath, and then let's check in on the babies. So this one needs to be potty trained, and this one needs to be potty trained. Paul, I'm so sorry. You got to wake up. You got to potty train these girls. He's like starving to death. Let's get him some food first. And then let's try to potty train the babies. We really need two. I think I'm going to get two potty. I think I'm going to get a second potty chair. Well, nah, they're going to age up in a day. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. They have a gardener. The gardener just hasn't come yet. I'm hoping the gardener will show up tomorrow. One is potty trained. Oh, who's potty trained? Oh. Oh, Judy's potty trained. Thank you. Judy is potty trained. A uh, Jade is the one we need to work with. Okay, Judy. Go use the potty. I know you can get out of there. I know you can get out of that crib. I've seen you do it. <clears throat> they can't play with the box. What box? What box are you talking about? He fears having a child. Does he really? Oh my God, he does. <laughs> he does fear having a baby, but he also wants to have 10 kids. And, well, Jenny does not fear having a baby, so she's not going on birth control. <laughs> I don't know if there'll be more twins. I guess if they could have, they'd have to have three more sets of twins to get the number of children that Jenny wants. Okay, let's get down here and let's potty train Jade. I'm going to send Judy, I'm going to send uh, Jenny to do that. So many J names, I cannot keep them straight. Okay, and let's uh, get... Judy, let Judy out. Let Judy out, and then you go to the bathroom, and I'm going to have Paul take him a nice, relaxing bubble bath. And then after that, hopefully we can try for baby. Dang it. <laughs> you want to see a sim go insane? I don't know if any of these sims will or not. Uh, we've had it happen, happen several times in Strange Town now. Nah, Jenny's going to be fine. She's going to be just fine. Let's go relax in bed after you finish that and then wait on Paul to come in there. He needs some comfort really bad. That's why I'm having him take a bubble bath. And just to get that comfort up. There we go. That's better. He's been just busting his butt taking care of these kids. It has been really rough on them. I really hope they don't have twins again. <laughs> like, I hope they just have a singleton. <laughs> Oh, yummy pun cakey. Pun cake. <laughs> pun cake, yeah. I don't know why I said that. I think because there's a Y in your name. <clears throat> um, yes, you know what? We will. We are going to do the bet game today. That is a very good idea, Sunko. So here's what we're going to do, guys. I am going to start a prediction. And our prediction is going to be... I got to start. Not that one. Okay. Our prediction is going to be... Will Jenny get pregnant today or get pregnant this stream? And then you guys can bet on if you think she will or not. If you vote yes and you, it, well, whichever one you vote and you get it right, then all of the points that everybody has wagered will be divided up between everybody who had the correct answer. So you can gamble your channel points. The more you gamble, the higher the prize for you if you win. Okay, so we're going to do a submission period of 30 minutes. If we leave this house before 30 minutes from now, I'll go ahead and end it. Uh, and I'm going to put it out there now. We're going to start prediction. Um, okay. There you go, guys. So the prediction will be right above the chat, like the same place whenever we have polls. And if you can't see it, it might be underneath another window or it might not be available in your area. It's not available for everybody because it's technically gambling, even though you're gambling channel points. Okay, but go ahead and put in your predictions. Nobody's saying no. <laughs> she has, yes, yeah, she has a uh, super fertility. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, and here we go. We're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to have her initiate since she's the one who wants to woohoo. We're going to go through the casual menu. We're going to go try for baby. 
Okay, we're gonna give them some privacy. She's like, hey, you wanna try for baby? <laughs> we're gonna give them some privacy and let them have their their moment. And let's go, where are the babies? Oh my God, this kid's out on the back porch. Get inside, child. What is wrong with you? You can't be outside on the back porch in the rain. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Thank you, Susie. On mo if you're on mobile, look under the place where you click for pleasant points, and that's where you'll find uh, the place to vote or to gamble. <laughs> now for some lightning. No, get stop it. Stop it. Stop. I see everybody saying uh, yes. Everybody's saying yes. If one person's going to say no, they're going to win it all. No. <laughs> yeah, mods can't participate either. Sorry, mods. Sorry, mods. Oh, I got a couple. Yeah, I got a couple no's. Oh, you're risky, guys. You're risky. <laughs> one day it will pay off. Okay, you know what? This kid's... I really hope this kid doesn't get struck by lightning. Is there anybody... Is there anybody out there? Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? To get your baby out of the rain. Um, You know what? You can get up. You can get up and get the baby out of the rain. She needs some food. <laughs> Let's feed her and put her to bed. So that one is Jade. I'm starting to remember them again. So Jade has the long hair and Judy has the short hair. And the way I'm going to remember that is Judy has short hair like Judge Judy. That's how I'm going to remember it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the follow, Emmanuel. Oh, and I got to hydrate too. Okay, let me do that. Hydrate for, th for Thybrid. And thank you for the follow stories from Saturn. <laughs> okay, so come and get this baby, feed this baby, and then let's check on Judy. We'll also feed Judy, and then we'll get them both to bed. Get bottle for Judy. Little Judge Judy. Little Big Booty Judge Judy. <laughs> Judy has short hair like Michael Jackson. Yeah, I guess so. And Jade has long hair like Cher. <laughs> That's not going to help me remember their names, though. <laughs> you just spent a thousand points i believe in you you're gonna get them back i believe in you <laughs> you're personally voting no yeah we're gonna do we're gonna do some re-situating when we get over to the grunts yes nathan definitely okay did you feed this kid where is this kid Get, no, okay, this one's going for the bottle. Here, come in here, child. <sighs> thank you for the follow, uh, Nick. Thank you so much. All right, come on. Come on, everybody, t drink your bottle. Be, be good, children. We only have, like, less than a day left of them being toddlers, and I am so over it. I can't believe they want to have 10 kids. I mean, that's just insane to me. <laughs> but we're going to let them do what they want, because I almost never go for this one. Uh, thank you for the follow, Kim the Sim. You had an entire lesson about gambling in the fourth grade? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, you need some food. Oh my gosh, I paused right in the middle of a lightning strike. Check that out. <laughs> Have you ever done that before? That's crazy. All right, let's go. You know what? She's going to serve breakfast, and we're going to make some blueberry pancakes. Doesn't that sound delicious? Go make your blueberry pancakes. Um, oh, what was that? Who subscribed? Oh, Cloudy Skies is continuing the gift sub they got from that daydreamer. Thank you so much, Cloudy Skies. I know. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna let me check on the kids. Okay, the kids need to be put to bed, really. But Jenny's got to finish making her blueberry pancakes. And I'm letting everybody else sleep for the moment as much as I can. Oh, great. The dishwasher is broken. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Danielle. Is there anything better than my laughter? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of better things. <laughs> How did I know where the fridge was? I don't know. I'm just good like that. <laughs> you think she's going to get pregnant, but you're still going to vote on no? You're just, you're just taking a risk. You're just being a risk taker. Sometimes you got to take a risk if you want to win in life. That's what I've learned in my almost 40 years of life. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, noodles and meatballs. Noodles and meatballs. 
Bringing the food, bringing the food talk in here. <laughs> I do not like to gamble. I am, in like real life, I am not a risk taker at all. I do everything safe, the safe way. It's, that's almost everything. Sometimes I take a big risk. I don't take a lot of little risks, but every now and then I take a big risk. Like I took a big risk to be a streamer and a YouTuber and it paid off for me. Um, so yeah, that was one risk that I'm happy I took, <laughs> but it was scary. Thank you so much for the follow Atlantico. All right, let's get this baby in bed. Oh yeah, let's, I wonder if we can get her on the potty first. Cause she, she's the only one who needs to be potty trained. Let's see, come on Jade. Let's get you on the potty. Thank you, pun cake. I really love this wig too. <laughs> like a slob stopper size risk, yes. <laughs> um, I used to live in a town that had a casino. So um, we went there and I only like to do the slot machines. And I, ta I, pay I do it really like safely. So I will take like a certain amount of money. Like I'll take $20 and I'll be like, I'm not going to spend any more than this. And I go do like the nickel slots. Well, the first time we went, me and Mr. Pleasant went, I won $200 on the slot machine. I was like, oh, and we left. I was like, let's go. We got our 200 bucks. We're out of here. <laughs> We got our free drink and we left. <laughs> Thank you, Not So Pleasant. Okay, so let's get this baby uh, into bed. She is exhausted, but we did get her on the potty. She still is not completely potty trained, but we have some time to work with her tomorrow. And let's clean this mess up, please. And then let's check on Judy. Judy is also exhausted. We got to get Judy in bed, too. Judy's in here playing on the xylophone. Like, they don't play with the other toys. They just love the xylophone. All right, big booty judge Judy. <laughs> Jenny, so far I see no signs of pregnancy, but you guys tell me if you see anything or if you suspect anything. <clears throat> Going to bingo. I've never done bingo before besides like we, I come from a pretty big family. So we used to do like holiday bingo and everybody would bring a gift. And then whenever you won, you would get to choose the gift or something like that. I don't remember exactly how it worked, but anyway, that's the only time I've really done bingo. I've never like went out and done it like in a bingo hall, but you know what? Honestly, it sounds fun to me. <laughs> like, I think it would be fun. Okay. Put these, uh, put these away. She's doing, I think she's doing too well to be prego guys. I'm getting concerned. And now she wants to woohoo with three different Sims. Oh my God. I would hate for her to get prego by somebody else. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to have her go to sleep while she can. And oh, we got to go check on Jill. She's got to get up and get ready for school. Oh, she was up here listening to the radio, having a good old time. Come down here and get your pancakes before school. And she did her homework too yesterday. I'm so proud of her. Oh, glad. I'm good. I'm glad it showed up for you, Fumus. <laughs> You would love for her to get pregnant by somebody else. Well, she just might because she's ready to have an affair on pole, which I feel so bad about, but she is a secondary romance and that's what they do. Um, let's see if she knows anybody. I don't think she knows anybody. She's got a bolt with General Buzz. No, General Buzz, no. <laughs> that would be awful. She's got two bolts with Gerard Landry, who is also a family sim. She's got a bolt with Rip Grunt. Oh, no, no, no. That's weird. And she's got one. Oh, she's got a bolt with River. <laughs> with River Smith. <laughs> I don't think she's Prego either. Um, but we have time to try again. We have time to try again. Thank you so much for the follow, drummer boy. <laughs> it's so weird. The family trees in this place, man, they are tangled. They are tangled. Tangled so badly. Let's see. Um, so we got this going on. We've got, let's check poll. So poll, this is just weird. I, I can't, I can't make sense of it. I can't make sense of it. I guess it's not that bad. It's not that bad yet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Buzz does hate Jenny. Yeah, I'm sure he does, but they actually, they get along. Okay. They don't hate each other yet or any more okay time for you to go to school jill which i'm kind of glad she's going to school because that's one last sim in the house but also it kind of sucks because she helps with the babies 
But anyway, it, everybody's asleep for once. I can't believe it. Everybody's asleep. How long is this gonna last? <laughs> yes, Jenny is the half-sister of Lola and Chloe who are Paul's daughters. Yes, that is it. That is what I was trying to convey. <laughs> and I could not do so. Okay, well, Paul's awake. Let's send him to the bathroom and get him some pancakes before the kids wake up. He can have a moment of peace to go to the shitter. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Dark Shadow Moon Princess. It's very weird. It's because Paul used to be the pollination technician before he decided to settle down and, with Jenny and have like a normal Earth family. So then he got... He, he was pollinating before. And so he pollinated. And so now he's got a... It's almost like sperm bank kids, you know? Okay, let's have some pancakes. And then we'll start working with the kids again, I guess, if they're up. Jade, she almost... Oh, she doesn't even want to be potty trained anymore, so... I guess I should have locked that one in. So I guess we'll just let them out. A family that pollinates together stays together. <laughs> that is a weird sentence. That's a weird thing to say. I'm sorry. I'm just reading the chat. Don't blame me. Blame whoever said that <laughs> it's trying to go back <laughs> blame spotsy <laughs> no child support on a different planet i know the weeds are terrible now i swear i hired a gardener so um let's hope that they show up today and let's see little jade she needs a bath so let's go give her a bath bathe jade The yard looks absolutely awful. I mean, it's really bad. <laughs> if they step outside for one minute, then their environment goes all the way down. But I'm thinking the gardener is going to show up soon. Because I tried to hire one and I couldn't, so I must have done it like right before the last stream ended. Oh, Paul has passed away in your game. I'm sad for when that happens in my game. We got the maid, but no gardener. Why do we have no gardener? <laughs> you like the weeds I, it depends on the house but for Paul and Jenny I don't think that they would I think they like to try to keep up appearances and I don't think they would have a yard that looks this bad um okay let's see what this kid needs nothing this one needs to go to the potty so just put Jade here and take to potty Judy Oh, just a few more short hours. And then we can move the kids upstairs and give them their own rooms. Because we have plenty of rooms upstairs. Right now, obviously, Jill is the only one here. This is Johnny's old room that is open. And then we have two more rooms over here. So we got plenty of room for these kids. Um, No gardener, though. No gardener. Okay, that is very weird. I am going to try again. Maybe I just missed it? Call service. Um, thank you so much for the follow Amazon and thank you for the follow Cherry Bomb and I got a hydrate from Cherry Bomb. Too many kids. Too many kids for sure. <laughs> Jade's not potty trained. Is she? Did she already get did she get potty trained and I missed it? Okay, look, I cannot hire a gardener, y'all. So I I know they have a gardener. Why, why is the gardener not... Okay, adoption service, bartender, butler, exterminator, garden club, matchmaking, nanny, obedience, pet adoption, and repairman. Okay. Well, let's just hire a repairman while we're at it. Because we got some broken junk in here. <laughs> yeah, I know he doesn't come every day, but he didn't come yesterday either. That's why I'm thinking he should come today. I don't think it's every three days. I think it's every other day, isn't it? He came two days ago where he should... Well, he should come back today. Oh, it's every three days. Ah, crap. Well, I guess we're gonna have to send somebody out here to work on this yard then. Paul, it's time for you to get busy. It's time for you to go outside and do some yard work. And Jenny... Oh, she, look, she doesn't want to woohoo with three people anymore. Now she just wants to kiss Paul and go on a date with him. <laughs> okay, did Jade get potty trained? Let me check. Oh, she did. She did. Okay, she got potty trained the last time, and I just totally missed it. I'm sorry about that. And there's the gardener. The gardener is here. Okay, never mind, Paul. Well, you know what? Paul can go ahead and help. Why not? He can help. 
Melba will weed for you if you let her sweet self in. <laughs> Sammy. No. No, Melba's not welcome here. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the follow uh, shadow cast art and thank you so much for the two month sub small cat woman thank you so much oh that was a repairman ah crap that was the repairman not the gardener Jeez, louise cindy i forgot we hired a repairman just three seconds ago um jenny is getting a good reputation so i guess it's a good thing i let fall outside to work on the yard now go pull these weeds go pull up the weeds okay <laughs> It would be a full-time job. Okay, let's check on Jenny. I don't think she's prego, guys, so I think we're going to have to try again. I think we're going to have to try again. Let's check on the babies, and if they're okay, they're kind of okay. Let's give Jade a bottle. Let's just try to keep them as happy as possible. And then let's have her go relax in the bed and wait for Paul to join her. <laughs> I know the yard is a nightmare and like they can't even get back here. I'll fix it someday. I don't care that much right now. Thank you, repairman. Thank you. Um, there's Kristen. Kristen Lost. Walking by. Joining us. No, I don't think she's pregnant. No. She still wants to have 10 kids. She wants to kiss Paul. We'll start. We won't start with the woohoo. We'll see if we can work up to woohoo. Cause she wants to kiss Paul and she doesn't want to woohoo, but she does want to have 10 kids. All right, come on. You know what? I don't care about the yard anymore. Let's do some romance. <laughs> I don't care about the yard. It's time to get romantic. Paul's out here in his, in his underwear, in his heart boxers. <laughs> Thank you for the follow play. <laughs> I know they don't have a farm, but you know what? If they have 10 kids, they might get themselves a farm. Oh, she now she doesn't want to do anything romantic. She wants to play peekaboo with Judy. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go back to clean go back to cleaning the yard. Just don't cry. <laughs> Just don't cry, Paul. Jill's like, oh my god, my dad's having a, a breakdown out here. Thank you so much for the prime sub, Ganlo. Thank you. <laughs> wow, someone built, uh, bet 7,000? <laughs> Bye, Weird Simmer. <laughs> okay, so she's taking a bath. Jenny, where are you? Oh, Jenny's taking a bath, okay. We're gonna keep trying, we're gonna keep trying. Now, we have just like four, a little over four hours before the girls age up to kids and I cannot wait, oh my God. We are gonna get them upstairs in their own rooms, out of the down, oh, did you just see Jill? She just slid down the stairs. We're gonna get them out of this area. They're gonna get out of the closet. They no longer have to live in the closet. <laughs> okay, go use the bathroom. And let's uh, serve some lunch. Let's serve, what'd be a good lunch? Is it, oh, it's summertime. So let's have a chef salad. <laughs> they need a farm, yeah. Okay, Paul got his, he's still out here going to town on this. I know you can't reach stuff, just do your best. Do the best you can, Paul. Make a difference. <laughs> Check the commercial break channel in Discord. Okay, I will. I will. Let's go check it. What'd you put in there for me? <laughs> Let's see. Oh man, so many channels. I can't find them. I can't find... Oh guys, another thing I wanted to remind you of. <laughs> oh, it doesn't tell me what they are. Okay, because they're on Facebook, I see. Let me, okay, now I have to, now I'm curious. Oh, another, oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you. I will show those today. Simbergenic, I will show those today. Um, so another thing I want to tell you guys about is don't forget we have three days left in our monthly contest. So if you haven't entered or you haven't voted, vote, voted? What am I, what am I enunciating like that for? If you haven't voted in the, for your favorite screenshot, go do it we have three days left and the winner is going to get a sims 3 or 4 pack or sims medieval of their choice from origin okay we got a radio station for shopping channel all right we'll have somebody go change it put it on shopping channel who's available um you're just playing games go make yourself useful 
<laughs> go switch to shopping channel. I love the shopping channel. I put that in all my stores. Uh, you're Gregnant. You're Gregnant, Strawberry Court Cakes. Thank you for the follow. A wild car Carmen appeared. And thank you for the follow, Squirrely Frost. <laughs> Who's Gregnant? Who is Gregnant in here? I need to know. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. He's still out here doing this. What are you doing? I don't think she, she's definitely not Gregnant, y'all. And oh my God, she fears having a baby. Oh no, she's going to go on birth control. <laughs> oh man, you guys who bet it on no, you're about to hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, hold on here. Um, oh, that's not what we want. We want it here. <laughs> You're about to hit the jackpot, guys. Um, and you never know. We still have time. If she gets rid of this, we'll take her off birth control. You still have time. I'm just saying. Doesn't look good for you. <laughs> Miscellaneous. Uh, oh! I think she's... I think she's prego. Maybe. It won't let me put her... Oh! She's pregnant. It won't let me put her on birth control. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Never mind. Never mind. I went to the wrong one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. Is she, Is she pregnant or not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if she is. Okay, hold on. Birth control is on, though. But it won't. It, if she is pregnant, that won't stop her from being pregnant. It'll just stop any further pregnancies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. How is Babby formed? How girl get pregnant? How is Babby formed? We don't know here. Cindy doesn't know how babbies are formed. <laughs> It's still up in the air. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Hold on to your hats, guys. <laughs> I'm not checking. I'm not checking. You got to wait and see. <laughs> I will not. Yeah, it always says morning after pill. It does. <laughs> I thought that was where you set uh, birth control and it wouldn't and it didn't show up, but that wasn't the right place. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. Who knows what's gonna happen though guys who knows she's going to suck face right now She's like you look so hot working in the yard in your undies. Let's suck face <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow ivy heart and thank you so much for the three-month prime sub floss. Thank you She's on birth control guys. Just hope she re-rolls it. Just hope and pray Hope and pray. And we've got an hour and a half. All right, let's get the birthday cake out. Let's get the birthday cake out. We're going to make this happen right now. I am tired of these toddlers. <laughs> oh, and we got to put this food up too. Jenny, go put this food up. We can't waste food in this house. We got too many, we got too many mouths to feed in here. We can't waste this food. <laughs> that one better fade away. We got time. <laughs> oh my gosh let's see those undies so we can suck face that'll get him going leah that'll get him going real good <laughs> i don't think birth control can fail in um in the sims 2 i don't think it can correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think so okay what are you two up to what are you two doing she wants to be best friends with kendall and be BFFs with Buck. So let's have her call up Buck and talk to him on the phone. Um, like a normal teenage girl would be calling her boyfriend, talking to him on the phone, right? And then we're going to get these kids over here to age up. Um, we're just going to talk. Just talk. And we'll start with Jade, right? I think Jade is the older twin. I think. Yeah. 
Lilith got pregnant twice on birth control for you. Okay, so I guess birth control can fail. I haven't ever had it fail, but I, I haven't used it that much, so. <laughs> Aw, thanks so much, Joella. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna age up Jade, and then we're gonna age up Judy. Let's get this show on the road. I'm ready, and I can't wait to see what she looks like. And I think this is our last day here, too. So let's just hope that Jenny's fears re-roll. So far, they haven't. Look, Paul is doing, like, really bad. We need... I never take care of him. I'm just like, go work in the yard for 10 hours. I'll check on you later. <laughs> She'll look like Cher. Here she goes. Here she goes. Is the other one aging up, too? Okay, not yet. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Let's see you age up. Here she goes. Yay. All right. Oh, she's wearing something really stupid. Okay, let's look at her. <laughs> let's see what she looks like as a child. I think we're gonna have to fix her clothes. Oh, yeah. She's wearing a polo shirt with a little plaid skirt. That is, looks terrible. Um, we're gonna have to fix her clothes. But, oh my god, that mouth. Look at that mouth. <laughs> she has got um a very tiny little pinched mouth. <laughs> what a derp. <laughs> she has no mouth. She has no lips. Oh, poor baby. But look at those gorgeous green eyes, though. <laughs> I know we gotta put some lipstick on her. Thank you for the follow, uh, Panda. Thank you for the follow, Stin North, and thank you for the follow, Lickphobic. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna. I'm gonna try something just so we can see. Hold on, we're gonna gussy up. We're gonna change appearance. I'm gonna see what happens if we put lipstick on her. Now I'm not gonna keep lipstick on her because she's a child, but I just want to see. Hey, oh my God, it's Tycho. <laughs> Oh my god, Judy grew into a child and we missed it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So much is happening. Okay, uh, Tycho just called to talk to Jill. Okay, that's cool. And our little Judy just aged up. Judy, where are you? Judy! Judy got long hair too. Oh, Judy. Oh, sweet Judy blue eyes. <laughs> sweet Judy black eyes. Oh no, y'all. Oh no. Um... Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's Judy. <laughs> I didn't forget. I just thought we had more. I just thought we had a little bit more, a couple more seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> Rip, rest in peace. Oh, this poor child. Oh my goodness. She's got the tiny nose, y'all. She's got the tiny nose. She's got the alien eyes. She's got a little bit more lips than her sister. I hope she has a good personality. Her nose looks like a shriveled up raisin. Oh boy. She's not too bad, though. I mean, it could be worse, right? It could be worse. I mean, she looks like her dad. <laughs> Let's have her change her clothes and see. Uh, now I can't tell them apart because they both have long hair. <laughs> All right, Judy, go change into your everyday. Let's see what you look. Let's see what kind of clothes you got on. Uh -huh. They are really going to unleash their 10 ugly kids onto the world. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, that is not good. <laughs> Why are they both wearing polo shirts and plaid skirts that don't match the polo skirts? Is that their look now? Those green socks. Okay, so this is little Jade. Now she's she's cute. She just those lips, you know. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my. It doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't help. Okay. Well, green? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, well maybe she's gonna get some lip filler when she gets older. We need to put we need to have somebody be the the plastic surgeon in Strange Town. Strange Town needs a plastic surgeon. Who agrees?
<laughs> who agrees? Thank you for the follow, Satra Tara, and thank you for the follow, B -b Banana, Banana, Ban Banana. <laughs> I can't say your name. I'm sorry. Yeah, we need a plastic surgeon. <laughs> She's going to get some lip fillers. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to change their clothes. All right. We're going to change um, Gussie up by clothes. All my Sims get one free change of outfit. Then after that, they have to go to the clothing store and buy anything else that they want. Just because if they grow up in something like really stupid like this, I don't want to keep it. Um, so let's see if we can find a shirt that will match her little green, her little green skirt. I'm actually going to try to find that skirt here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Stands out pretty well. And then we can find a shirt, um, that goes with it. Wow. Why do they have so many skirts in their dresser? I don't understand. Maybe we should have just looked at the clothes they already have. Do they have a bunch of clothes in there? <laughs> I'm ugly and I'm proud. That's right. That's right. Ugly girls unite. <laughs> so we could get her. It's summertime. It's almost fall. We could get her a little green tank top. Maybe that's too much green. I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. What I, I don't know what I, I barely care. Thank you for the follow star coves. Um, I got a lot of cute little shirts in here, though. I really do. And I like to give my sim I also like to give my Sims different clothing for the different seasons. Um, but right now it's summertime. And I think that little... That little um, tank top we had before actually looks pretty cute. I have a bunch of... Okay, they have a blue polo in their closet. I know that much. I know they have a blue polo. Aw, that's cute. I can't decide. I got too many shirts. <laughs> they would have Jill's old clothes. Yeah, I think that's what those are. Um, okay, I think I'm going to give her that tank top. I'm going to let her keep her skirt. I'm going to give her the tank top. Not that one. I think there's a darker green. Yeah. Thank you for the cheer, uh, Beth. Oh, and I got a hydrate uh, from Callie. Oh, hello to you. I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> Being the nurse means you get a free boob job. <laughs> okay, let's put see she they have a bunch of clothes already in here. Maybe I don't even have to buy anything for the other kid. She likes green like her mom. She likes the color green like her mom. Okay, we don't need to fix any more of these. So she's green she's green from head to toe, like literally. <laughs> Um, that doesn't really match at all, does it? <laughs> it doesn't match. Oh, well, whatever. It matches better than pink. And you, you over here, when you get done with your cake, it's time to, uh, let's plan outfit and let's see if we can just put together something with the clothes they already have. Green hair. <laughs> She's a pee in a pod. She is. Oh, let's give, you know what? Let's give you this cute little pe peasant blouse with your skirt. That's cuter. That's cuter. We'll go with that. They had a bunch of little girls clothes. I think they were, those are all uh, Jill's hand-me-downs. I think you guys are right about that. Yes, I know you're exhausted. Okay, so that looks cuter. We got a little white pleasant top with her. Pleasant top? A pleasant top. <laughs> peasant top with her little skirt. That's cute. <laughs> Yeah, their hair color. No hamsters. No hamsters. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the cheer, Beth. Thank you for the follow, Brandy. And thank you for the follow, Chow Magpie. Okay, where are you going, child? You're going to sleep outside? Oh, because they have no beds. <laughs> they have no beds. Okay, we had to get them some beds. All right, so I'm going to sell this bed. And we'll just leave a desk in there. And I'm going to make this their room over here. And I think I'm just going to make it over um like in pink real quick and just add a couple beds into it and they're going to actually share a room for the moment um and when they become teenagers we can give them their own rooms if we have room for it so we're just going to do a little pink room like this thank you for the follow the sojourn di sojourner diaries and thank you for the follow jessica and let's do let's do some paint let's do some 
No, that doesn't match, does it? Let's keep trying. Let's find something that matches this carpet. That, that kind of matches, right? Kind of a purplish pink, that's cute. Um, let's make this white and let's throw a couple beds in here. So let me go to surfaces. Or not surfaces, beds aren't surfaces, Cindy. Not surfaces. And let's find some cute bedding. I have a lot of cute, like, little girl bedding in here somewhere. We just have to scroll through for ages to find it, but we have it. Something green. <laughs> we need something green for the for the other one. Um, That's kind of cute. That's got some bunnies on it. Let me change the frame. Let me change the frame to white. I don't know if that clashes or not. Let's keep looking. Let's keep... Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Okay, that'll be for one of the girls. And let's try again. I'm not going to leave them here. I'm just doing this for now while I color them. Let's see if we can find something different. Oh, we'll do that one. There we go. So let's change... Let's move that there. Let's give them a little table in between. And thank you for the follow, Katie Cates. Let's put a little table in between... Maybe a little little nightstands, little couple little nightstands. Let's give them some curtains. Um, I'm not gonna do too much with it, but you know, they deserve to have a little bit of a room of their own. A little bit. Oh, that's a two that's a two tile. I'm gonna put blinds up. Okay, so far so good. It's got some green on it. Yeah, it's got some green on it. That one does. <laughs> you had the the mom furniture set in real life. Did you really? I don't know. I said whenever I see that, I say mom, like M-A-L-M. -M, I say mom. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to say. I don't know if you're supposed to like spell it out. But I say mom. Um, oh, let's put one of these up. I like using these for a little girl's room. We'll put that right there. That's kind of cute. I don't know. I don't know about the yellow. Let's see. Blue. Oh, we'll do the pink. We're doing really girly. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll change more as we get to know their personalities. This is just to get us started. I want to put, we need a couple lights in here. Maybe some lamps. Maybe a lamp. A purple or a pink. Dark purple, light purple. I don't know. So many purples. We'll put a lamp there. We'll put um, something, something cute. Something cute here. Maybe some books, some children's books or something. I don't know. Most of the Ikea furniture from The Sims 2 is being sold today. Is it really? You know, I've never been to an Ikea before. We'll put some books over here, like some children's books. Um, and I was looking for a painting put on the wall like a kid's painting those are cute but you're not gonna be able to see them I've never been to one I've driven by one a couple times because there's one in the big city where I live um I don't live in the big city but the big city near where I live and so I've driven by it and it's huge it's like a gigantic um store it's humongous <laughs> but i've never been in it i've never gone into one it's a nice way to kill an afternoon and get some exercise i bet it looks like it takes you five hours to walk across that okay so let's see maybe a little rug for them i think i know exactly the rug too let's see i have one of these in like some pinkish colors uh, that doesn't really look good that doesn't really look good. So we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it like this for now. Oh, that's kind of cute. It doesn't match, but it's kind of, I guess we don't need a rug. Oh, they need a toy box or something, don't they? They need a dollhouse or something. Let's give them a dollhouse, I think. I think they would get a dollhouse. I need to re, I need some recolors of this doghouse. Doghouse? Dollhouse. We'll put a dollhouse right there. 
And you know what? I'm gonna get rid of one of these and put a toy box over here instead. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, good, good. That's good enough. <laughs> That's good enough for now. So now we have a place for both of them to sleep. They got a dog house. <laughs> and let's have, they're, they're exhausted. Okay, you don't have to sleep outside in the, lawn, in the lawn chair. You can come sleep up here in your new room. And you too, you don't have to sleep on the couch. No, don't jump on bed. Um, thank you for the follow, Sim fan. And oh, I got a save game. Good idea, Carson. Let's save the game. And then we'll bring her up here to sleep. And then, like I said, as we get to know their personalities more, we will, and they, they get their own rooms as they get older, we'll decorate more, you know, for their individual personalities. All right, come sleep here. She wants to go play with the toys or look at the toy box. She's like, oh yeah, new toys. <laughs> and uh, thank you for the follow, Phil and Aeon the Dark. And I got another hydrate, okay. Oh, look at her little nightgown. Oh, it was perfect. Little purple nightgown. I wonder what the other one's nightgown looks like. Let's see. She's coming. She's coming up the stairs. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on. Where are you? Come up the stairs. What? Are you stuck? Oh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Get up, get up, get up here. You're exhausted, hurry up. Aw, she's got little pink pajamas. Oh, we saw those before, that's right. That's right, okay. So let's go check on the rest of the family. Paul, you're doing fine. Jenny, okay, we can take her off birth control now. She no longer wants to be on birth control. <laughs> okay, wrong, wrong place, sim settings, pregnancy, birth control, that's where you do that. Um, she doesn't want to woohoo, but she does still want to have 10 children. So we're going to have, look, she's talking to, okay, that's a sign guys. She was talking about it right now. She's like, we got to try because we're running out of time. She only has 12 days left. So yeah, we got to go try. We got to go try. Sorry guys. Sorry for those of you who voted no, but we tried before and she didn't get prego. You got to remember I'm using ACR. So her age is a factor in her fertility. She may not get pregnant manifest baby <laughs> she may not get there paul is so so exhausted and then let's go ahead this is our last chance pretty much and we're gonna go through the casual menu we're gonna try for baby we're gonna give them their privacy while they do that and we're gonna go check on jill over here <laughs> oh, who's she talking on the phone to um jill Jill, what you doing? <laughs> There's nobody on the phone. <laughs> There's no, um, hang up. <laughs> She's just holding the phone up to her ear. That's so weird. Okay, well, why don't you go, um, go over here and go to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Yeah, she's got a breakout. She does. She's got a hormonal breakout. She's got some huge zits, I know. <laughs> Waiting for Buck to call, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to take her upstairs, and she's going to put on some acne cream. Um, she's going to use some acne cream, and then she's going to go to sleep. Come on, Jill. Get your acne cream on. <laughs> she likes listening to the phone dial. <laughs> yeah, this is the last day for this family. This will be it. She's going to turn on the radio. I knew I know what you were doing, Jill. I know what you were doing. Okay, go to bed. Everybody go to bed. Thank God we don't have toddlers anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know if I should sell this. I think I'm not going to sell this crib yet. Because they're going to need all the baby stuff they can get. But I am going to move it in here. Kind of like a storage for now. Since we don't really have any, any kids right now. So that's all storage area for the children's stuff right now. Okay. Whew. Man, this house is is difficult. It is quite difficult. Did I save? I'm going to save again. I don't know if I did. Um, So we're not going to know if she's prego probably before it changes, but I will check because we have to know for the prediction. 
we decorated Jill's room on the, on one of the streams, I think right after she aged up to a teen. And so the very next time we play, she is going to become an adult or go to college or become a young adult. Um, thanks for the follow, DCs. And Susie is begging for a gift sub. Susie1006, if anybody out there is feeling generous, generous, Susie would like a gift sub. I'll try for you, Susie. <laughs> I still get acne occasionally, too, because I have PCOS, and that causes me to have all kinds of freaking hormonal problems. So, <laughs> it sucks. We'll see. We'll see. She's dreaming about having babies. She's dreaming about having babies. <laughs> and, oh, I just realized I made my uh, sub goal today. So thank you for everybody who uh, subscribed or gave a gift sub. I really appreciate you. Yeah, PCOS is the worst. It's the, I have all the worst symptoms of it, too. <laughs> she better get prego. I hope she does. She's going to have to eventually, dang it. We're going to keep trying. She's not giving up on those on the dreams of having 10 kids. Um, thank you so much for the uh, giving out the gift sub, Cottage Peach. Thank you so much for giving a gift sub to Nesteria. <laughs> Susie1006 still wants a gift sub if anybody wants to give one. Jenny, you better make that dream come true. <laughs> Well, we're watching. Oh, it just changed. Okay, so the season just changed. So it's time for us to check. The moment of truth has arrived, guys. Get ready. Get ready to see who's going to win. Yes or no. All right? Drum roll. Drum roll, please. I need a drum roll sound bite. <laughs> drum roll. Thank you. Thank you for the drum roll in chat. Thank you so much. Um, let's do sim settings. Do I go to pregnancy? Um, where do I go? Hold on. Um, miscellaneous. Pregnancy scanner. Uh, she's not pregnant. <laughs> I can check here too. Yep. Sorry, guys. The nose win. The nose win. <laughs> Everybody was so sure. But the nose are about to get some big points. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me, uh. Let's see, we're gonna choose our outcome here. So we're gonna choose the, so 21% of you are gonna get all of the channel points. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Let's choose the outcome. It's no, she is not pregnant, complete prediction. We've got 70,000 channel points that were wagered and they are going to be distributed among all of you. Here we go. All right, there you go. Prediction results is no. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for the three month sub crawdad quarter. Thank you so much. And Makota gave a shout out to yes. <laughs> and Bella Bean did a big flex. All right, Bella, thank you for that big flex. You're a shooting star. <laughs> Yep, yep, there was a bet going on. Okay, it's over now, though, guys. It's over now. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought she was going to get prego, too. I was sure of it. So you guys who uh, you guys who voted no, man, you took a risk and it paid off for you. <laughs> yes, we are saving. I think I just saved twice in a row. Yeah, so the points are distributed based on how many you bet. So the more you bet, the more you get of the pot. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, my friend. And thank you so much for the uh, three-month Prime sub, Mariella. And I got a hydrate and I got a screenshot. Okay, what do you want a screenshot of? We'll get a screenshot of Jenny and Paul snuggling. Snuggler. I'll snuggle you back to health. Snuggler. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, I got a screenshot of that. And I'll do a hydrate, and then we are going to move on to the grunts, guys. Maybe we could even do another prediction over there. <laughs> you, if you lose, you only lose how much you bet. You won't lose. You only lose how much you bet if you lose. 
Um, thank you for the prime sub, Dekilt. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go out to the neighborhood. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the cheer, Basti. Thank you. We're still um, looking for a gift sub for Susie1006. Okay, so we're going over to the Grunts, which now they live next door to Johnny, which we redid his whole house and made it look totally awesome. Um, but now we're going to the Grunts. Right now we have General Buzz, we have Tank, we have Buck, and we have General Fuzz, the cat. <laughs> This is Tank's cat, General Fuzz. <laughs> and yeah, somebody bet 7K. Yes, they did. <laughs> you won 5.8K plus some points. All right. All right. Yes, Kristen is supposed to move in. So we're going to do that first thing, okay? Because Kristen has General Buzz's baby. As far as Aaron, what we're going to do with that is I think I'm gonna move Tank out. General Fuzz. <laughs> or maybe we'll just move them all in here and have one big old happy family. Oh my God, look at this. General Fuzz. Tank loves General Fuzz, y'all. He picked him out at the pet store. We brought him home. We named him General Fuzz. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're never gonna believe in Jenny's fertility. <laughs> Susie has a sub? It doesn't look like she does to me. Let me see. Let me scroll back up and look at her name. Oh, yeah, you got one, Susie. You got a sub. I don't know who gave you a sub, but you got one. <laughs> so th thank you for giving Susie a sub, whoever gave Susie a sub. And thank you for the cheer to kilt. And thank you uh, for the shout out from Sammy. Shout out to General Fuzz for being the best boy and loving you and everyone. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah, we got to get a screenshot of this. I'm pretty sure I have a screenshot of this from the last stream. Hold on. Let me put the walls up. But it's just too cute to not to not make sure. Oh, Susie, if it ends in two days, you can't get another gift sub until it completely ends. Sorry. Sorry. We'll try to beg for you in two days. It'll have to be completely over before somebody can gift sub you again. Okay, sorry guys, I didn't realize that. All right, we got a screenshot of that. That is so cute. <laughs> no baby was formed, but we're about to have two babies moving into this household. So General Buzz and Tank both have children, if you didn't know, um, from our previous round. Oops, what am I doing? And it is time. Wait, four days left in summer. Shouldn't it be fall? Oh no, we're playing the summer round. Jeez Louise, Cindy. Jeez Louise, we're playing the four days of summer. Okay. <laughs> and let's go ahead and move in Kristen. So General Buzz here, let's just look at the family tree. He has a child, little Floyd. Little Floyd lost. His name actually should be Grunts, Floyd Grunts. Um, but General Buzz and Kristen lost, had a baby named little Floyd. And then Tank... <laughs> Wait, didn't Tank have a baby? Oh. Tank doesn't have a baby? I thought he had a baby. Oh, she hasn't given birth yet. Oh, that's it. That's it. So Tank's girlfriend is pregnant, but she hasn't given birth yet. That's right, because she was still all big and pregnant. Um, thank you so much for the five months, Nick. Thank you so much. Aaron's still pregnant. Okay, I see you guys telling me in the chat. Thank you. Um, yeah, so he's about to have a baby. Now, I wanted to move Tank and Aaron out on their own, but they have no money. They have no way to move out on their own. So I think they're going to have to move in with Buzz for the moment. Um, Tank is currently working um, as a drill instructor level three in the military career. So he does have some money coming in. They could, I wanted to move them into the apartments down on the highway, the Nowhere Motel, but they need... I don't even know how much they would need to, to live there. Hold on. Um, let me just go out to the neighborhood and let's look and see. But they're going to have to save up, I think, before they can move out. Yeah, we're moving Kristen and the baby in, and we're also moving Aaron in. Everybody's moving into the Grant household. So they need their 570 to 748. So he needs to, and they're furnished. 
So he's gonna have to move, save up like 750 simoleons to move in. So that's gonna be our goal for tank. He needs to save up 750 of his own money. <laughs> Aw, thanks. That's so sweet. <laughs> Tell your daughters I said hello. Okay, so our goal is we're moving all the girls in. We're moving the baby in. Tank is going to have to save up enough money to get an apartment, get out of his dad's house, and take care of his own ch uh, girlfriend and child who hasn't been born yet, but she's about to, he's about to be born. He or she, we don't know the gender. We don't know the gender. So the first thing we're gonna do is wait till morning. <laughs> we're gonna wait till morning. We're gonna invite the girls over and move them in right away. We just have to move them in before 6 p.m., but it's gonna happen. Oh, the deposit, that's right. Shoot, they're gonna need a deposit. He's gonna need more than that. He's gonna need 1,500. I forgot about the deposit, thank you. He's gonna need 1,500 to move in at least. Maybe more than that. He could take a loan. That's a good point, he could take a loan. I normally don't have my Sims take loans um, for things like that just because I find it to be a pain in the butt to keep up with. Uh-oh, somebody's gotta go to work. Who's supposed to be going to work right now? Tank, get to work. Get to work and start saving up that money. And I need to check and see if he has any money already um, saved up. No, he doesn't. He does not. So this is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. <laughs> we did do a wager, but I think we'll do another one. I think we'll do another one on the gender of Aaron's baby. What do you guys think? Huh? 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 You want to bet on that? <laughs> thank you so much for the follow, Bradzo. And thank you so much for the three months uh, in advance. Thank you so much, Undercooked Amethyst. <laughs> oh, what if it's twins? Oh, I don't think it's going to be twins. But you know what? If it is twins, we'll just go on the gender of the first one born. Okay? We'll go on the gender of the first one born. Because I don't think I can do more than two. You, I can only do two selections on the predictions. Turn the salsa off. <laughs> okay, Miles, I will. I will. Uh, let's have, we'll have Buck do it since he's already upstairs and he needs to get up and get ready for school. He also wants to buy some new clothes. Okay, where the heck's the radio at? All right, turn this off. Okay, here we go. Get up. Get up, turn that salsa off. Everybody's sick of listening to the salsa. <laughs> yeah, it would be the perfect gamble. Okay, I'll go ahead and start it now. Oops, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Okay, let me start a prediction. I see your commercial break and I'll do that as soon as I get this prediction started. So the new prediction is gonna be um, gender of Aaron's baby. Is it going to be a, if it's twins, we'll vote. It'll be the f gender of the first one born, okay? Uh, male or female. All right, we're going to start prediction. So you really have a 50-50 shot at this. You really have a 50-50 shot. Oh, I did one minute. I did one minute. Oh, can I, can I, can I? can I change it? Oh, no, you have one minute. I'm sorry. You have one minute. <laughs> Everybody vote fast, fast. I'm sorry. It won't let me change it. <laughs> it won't let me change it. You gotta put, you gotta get it in now. One minute. I'm so sorry. I didn't change the time and it just automatically sets to one minute. <laughs> you got one. Oh man, we got 59% male. Oh, 52% male, 48 female. Oh, f oh no, it's going back and forth. Oh my God, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm gonna let you guys watch this with me. Watch this with me. Oh, 64 male, 36 female. Oh, oh, oh. Man, and you guys really think it's gonna be a male? Oh, 42% female. Oh, it's going back. Oh, it's 50 50. It's 50 50. <laughs> Yeah! We ended on 50-50! Oh boy! Okay, I hope you I hope you got your I hope you got your bets in. I hope you got your bets in. I'm sorry I did one minute. That was so short-sighted of me, but that's okay. Alright, guys. We got 25k versus 24.7k. 
So as soon as I know, <laughs> let's do a commercial break. And then, oh my God, somebody put the radio station back on salsa. Let's do a commercial break and then we'll get back to the game. We'll move Erin in and we're going to find out because I think she's pretty much ready to pop. She's ready to pop. Yeah, the votes appear in your name so you can see who voted female and who voted male. All right, let me find. So I got another commercial for you guys. I had like five commercials. Oh, this one. Oh, just wait till you see this one. This one's going to make you laugh so hard. It's going to make you laugh so hard. Sorry, guys. I can't believe I only said it for one minute. That is my bad. And it wouldn't let me change it after that. So if you didn't get your vote in, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll try to do another one. Um, okay, so here's the commercial we're about to watch. <laughs> so, this looks really bad, but it's not what it looks like. <laughs> It's not what it's nothing like that. It's sauna pants. Get your sauna pants on. <laughs> They're in a sauna. I don't know why they have their arms around each other. I didn't make the commercial. A trip to the sauna is so relaxing, but also expensive. Who 65 the bucks. And the $40 price tag on normal sauna <laughs> pants isn't an easy pill to swallow. You can just not wear not your sauna pants. Three foot power cord. Introducing. Sauna pants to go. To the go. Versatile solution to your winter warming needs. Designed and created by the visionary scientists in the Hoodless Lab. Sauna pants Is this to real? go. Provides your tired muscles with portable, deep warming heat. Delivered. I, I don't even know if this is real. <laughs> to get started, open your. I know the audio is terrible. Sauna pants to go. I, this is a joke. This has You'll to be a joke. Your Sauna pants to go. Sauna pants. <laughs> white vinegar, baking soda, and a four liter Erlenmeyer flask. Place this Erlenmeyer cannot be over real. a high flame, add baking soda, and mix in white vinegar. Mine's platters. Now, <laughs> boil the solution until 90% of the liquid has I evaporated. do not believe this is real. This the warmth providing sodium acetate solution. Be sure to collect the crystals along the walls to trigger exothermic reactions This is reactions not real. Later. This is not real. Carefully transfer the boiling hot acetate solution the into your The boiling hot acetate solution? And let cool on ice. Seal edges with your at-home bag sealer and with your stylish pants now complete. Clip your them on, stylish pants now. This is not real. life providing warmth. Sauna pants. This has it's, it's a joke. It has to be. It's a school project. I think you're right. In the lab. In the It's hilarious though. In the park. This guy is cracking me up. Hold out here, Jan. Sauna pants are real. What, Sammy? Sauna pants to go. Sauna pants to go. Sauna pants. Hi, I'm Pamela Douglas, and I endorse this. I can't hear you, Pam. Back streets back, all right. I don't know what to say. Is that for? Is that real for real? Is that for real? <laughs> to go. That's their teacher. Whether it's real or not, it's a hundred percent hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> Of course, it, it got me going. It got me going. I thought it might have been real. Sauna pants. <laughs> I know it can't be real. What what made me think it wasn't real? Besides, you know, the the low quality audio and everything was the uh, your stylish pants are now complete. Like nobody thinks those are stylish. It can't be real. <laughs> the orange ones are real. Oh my god, it's totally real. Now, I, that commercial may not have been real. That commercial may have been like a parody commercial, but apparently the product is real, guys. <laughs> They're on Amazon. <laughs> oh god, that is really something. Okay, thank you for the follow, Ahoy Alex, too. Thank you. Sauna pants to go. Sauna pants. <laughs> It's only 20 bucks. God, I got to get some of those along with some flex paste. Let's poke a hole in them, see if flex paste can fi can fix it. 
Oh, I see. Carrie says they made a fake spinoff product that's the to-go version. Oh, I see. So sauna pants are real, and that was a fake to-go version commercial. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. You don't even wear a towel in the sauna? Yeah, I think uh, it's not very common to. I don't know. I've never been to a sauna before. I can't say for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys um somebody wants to change it back to salsa you're just a disruptor you're just a troublemaker changing it back to salsa aren't you <laughs> oh thank you so much for continuing your gift sub Susie. thank you <laughs> you're not supposed to go in sauna pants no you need a separate product for that you need the gotta go you gotta combine the gotta go with the sauna pants and then you never have to move again <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Georgia K. Okay, let's get um general. Let's get the general awake. Let's have him go turn on the salsa. <laughs> or actually, Buck's up here. He can turn on the salsa. It's Friday. Oh, he's got to go to school in just a few minutes. He's no longer sunburnt though. <laughs> he changed it back. It was uh Carissima. Oh, now we got world music. Okay, we got world music. So we'll have to get gen General Buzz. You guys are having a radio station war. We're going to get General Buzz up here to turn it on to world. Oh, yeah. That's a station I don't really listen to that often, but I do really like it. Oh, we got back to salsa. <laughs> We're going to get one second. We're going to get one second of world yeah, we're moving the girls in. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, he wants to woohoo in bed, too. General Buzz does. So as soon as General Buzz gets his needs taken care of, which includes turning on the salsa music, he is going to call up his lady, his lady, Kristen, and we're going to move her in. She's going to be moving in down here. Uh, where the heck's the phone in this house? We're going to call Sim. We're going to call Kristen. Now, Kristen has her own job and everything, but she is going to be moving in um, just so we can have them get together. I think she wanted to get married. I can't remember. But we got to get them out of that house that they're in. And General Buzz has plenty of room for them, so they're going to move in. Um, we're going to invite her over. And then we're going to move her in when she gets over here. Yeah, Aaron will move in whenever Tank gets home from work. Um, let's let me make sure it's not after six. Yeah, he gets home at 1 p.m. And then we'll move Aaron in. So we'll do one at a time. This is going to be a big old household. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, we got to change it to salsa. And then we got to change it to my choice. All right, while he's waiting, he can go change it back to salsa. All I'm going to do is change the radio station in this house. And then we're waiting on uh, Kristen to show up. Oh, he was trying to pet General Fuzz. Who is this? Blair? Blair, you get out of here. We gave Blair a makeover. He ended up being, like, super cute. Okay, so let's uh, greet Kristen. And then let's ask her if she wants to move in. I know everybody's pregnant except Jenny. And he's ready to do a little woohoo when she moves in, too. He's coming out here to greet her. I can't believe these two got together. I did not see that coming, but they got along really well. Kristen really liked uh, that General Buzz, you know, was high up in his career. Oh, okay. Well, they're going. They're going for it. <laughs> they're going on their own. No, don't do it on the couch. He wants to do it in the bed. Okay, I got to stop them because they're trying to go on the couch and he wants to go in the bed. So Kristen was trying to go on the couch. No, Kristen, no. No, get in there. Now, ask Kristen to join. <laughs> Babby number two. We have a radio downstairs. Where? Oh, right there. <laughs> I'm probably the one who put it there. Um, okay, and let's have them do um, a little casual woohoo. And just get that out of the way, and then she'll be all ready to move in. <laughs> oh, make her selectable. Oh, good point. I should have moved her in first. But that's okay. We'll just make her selectable. And while she's selectable, we can look at her wants. Okay. Oh, she wants to get a job in the medical career. So, no, she hasn't been employed yet. She hasn't been employed yet. She does have her degree, her medical degree. So, she's just been looking for a new position. Um, thank you so much for the follow breakfast milk. 
they are not engaged. They are just in love and they have a child together. Neither of them has really wanted to get engaged yet. Uh, but we're moving her in because we've got she's got to get out of that house with the baby. And uh, General Buzz is going to help her to raise the child. Whether or not they want to get married is up to them. And once they finish here, General Fuzz. Oh, General Fuzz needs some food. We're going to feed General Fuzz and then we're going to ask her to move in. The cat's creeping on him, I know. I know he is. Okay, let's go ask her. No, wake up. No, wake up. No. Wake up. <laughs> let's make her unselectable. So that we can go and ask her. Um, let's see. Propose, move in. And we're going to bring little Floyd with us. <laughs> you thought your cat was meowing? <laughs> okay here we go all right chris is moving in she brought 118 simoleons to the to the family <laughs> and now we have to wait for little floyd he should be showing up outside somewhere let's see where are you floyd come on come on where are you oh no where's the baby oh there he is oh he's he's out here <laughs> Okay, we guys, we have to go get him. Now we have another toddler to take care of. Don't toss the football. Go get your child. Go get your child. Um, we're going to hold Floyd. We're going to bring him in. We're going to have to get a crib and stuff. And we're going to have to put those downstairs. So I've got to find room for it somewhere. All right, go get your baby. Go get your baby. And she wants to woohoo with three different sims. So she is actually a secondary romance, I believe. Yeah, she's a secondary romance. We're going to give her that. And and she she's ready to have an affair after she just moved in with with uh, Buzz, of course. <laughs> she's already looking around, I know. It makes you kind of feel like she's using Buzz, but, you know, people use each other. That's what they do. Okay, go hold your baby and bring him inside, please. <laughs> I haven't even turned it on to my radio station choice yet. <laughs> so you gotta wait on that salsa. Aw, oh, thank you so much for the five months, Isabel. Thank you. Okay, now let's bring him inside, um, put him down here, and let's get him a crib, y'all. Let's get him a crib. And it's gonna have to be cheap because they don't have much money at all. And we also have to keep an eye on Tank. Let's see, where the heck are we gonna put this crib? We got no room for a crib. You're gonna be a hallway baby. He's gonna be a hallway baby. <laughs> you know, we could probably take, you know what? Let's take one of these tables out. Why don't we do that? Cause they don't need that many. They don't need that much. We'll put this down. Look at all these dirty. Oh my God. Oh my God. We'll put that there and then we'll put the crib in here. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Dining room, baby. Yeah, we could we could totally make another room out of it. It was supposed to be like a mess hall, I think. Okay, bring the baby inside and then, oh, we need a potty. I forgot, we need a potty. We need all the stuff. We need a potty chair so we can put that right here in the bathroom. And then let's get him some toys too. We'll get you a peg box and a head. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Emily and Dog Life. 32. Mess hall, baby. That's right. He's a mess hall, baby. Now let's get him onto the potty. Uh, Kristen, she needs to eat really bad, but get him on the potty first. And then what are you doing? What are you doing out here? Oh, you're doing yard work. Okay. Well, you know what? Why don't you go get something to eat? <laughs> as soon as Tank gets home at one, we're going to move Erin in, and then Erin's going to be having her baby. I don't know when, but it's going to be very soon. It's going to be very soon. And then we're going to see who which prediction is correct. And Buck's grades are slipping. We need to check on him and see when he's aging up. Oh, he's got four days, so I don't, he might age up before the end of this round. He wants to be good. He wants to be friends with General Fuzz. Aw. So his hobby is also, I believe his hobby is stargazing. Correct me if I'm wrong. I lost my spreadsheet here. Um, so I don't think he can stargaze right now. Well, I know he can't. 
Let's see. Buck, what is your hobby? It's no, it's weather. It's weather. His hobby is weather. Never mind. I'm sorry. So he's going to go watch the uh, weather channel for fun. That's what he does for fun as a teenage boy. Tank wants to bring up Matthew Howe. All right. Matthew is has the hots for all of the grunt men. And he loves coming over here. And check this out. Okay, Tank just got promoted. So he brought home uh, 945 simoleons. So we're about to put 900 in his bank account right now. Um, that is a good amount of money that he can use. Let's see. Uh, that he can save towards getting his own place. That is great. Bank online, deposit 500, um, deposit 200 and deposit another 200 it's so sucky when you get 900 you gotta go do three deposits for 900 <clears throat> yeah and he has a whole bunch of wants for tank but also i mean tank has a whole bunch of wants for aaron but aaron has ha been having a little bit of an affair behind his back and we're about to find out more about that when we move her in and uh she's about to give birth to tank's baby and she's been kind of cheating on him behind his back a little bit <laughs> okay let's see yeah i guess you could do a thousand and, and remove a hundred that's true you could do that you could do that that'd probably be faster <clears throat> imagine aaron wanting to marry johnny i know oh my god if she does if she does okay so now the time has come we're gonna call her up i'm gonna put a phone up here i'm gonna put a phone up here because we just we need a phone upstairs so let's put a phone just right here is fine and call up uh, your sim. <clears throat> okay, what's going on down here? Matthew Howe is here. Buzz is going to, don't, don't do that. Talk to, talk to Matthew. Talk to Matthew. I don't know where the baby is. This is going to be a chaotic household to play y'all because we're about to have another sim move in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six sims and a cat. One of those sims is a toddler and we've got another baby moving in. Okay, Aaron, or another baby coming. Oh no, she's not home. She's not home. What do you mean? She's not home. Okay. We're going to teleport her over then. We don't, we don't have time for your shenanigans, Aaron. Okay. We don't have time for your, your messing around. She's probably out with Johnny. <laughs> She's probably out with Johnny. Uh, thank you for the follow, Annie Banani. The tea is exceptionally good today. I agree. So we're going to teleport her over. Because um, we just don't have time. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. We're going to summon. Oh, God. What house? Oh, she's in the singles household. Erin. Here she is, y'all. Um, and let's move. Let's actually, now that she's here, we're going to have him do it the old fashioned way. He's going to go ask her if she would like to move in no chloe is keeping the weird house she's gonna be the only one living there now on her own and she's keeping that house for herself if matthew tries to pull tank and it works then more power to him is all i can say <laughs> thank you for the follow ashley andrew and thank you for the follow m13 volpecula Okay, wait, are you supposed to come down here and ask her to move in? What's wrong with you? Get down here. Um, everybody's in their military fatigues over here. No, we don't want we don't want Chloe. Oh my god, get out of the way, Matthew. Matthew's like, uh uh, I'm blocking this. You're mine, tank. You're mine. <laughs> Matthew's not gonna let this go down. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, now maybe he can go down. No, no, no. Get, get down. What are you stop it? Get down here. Matthew is literally blocking him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's um, propose. Propose. No, wrong, wrong sim. Propose, move in. Let's try this again. Dang. <laughs> Matthew has entered the chat. I know there's already too many sims in this house. It's rough. Okay, he's coming down here to ask ask her he's gonna stand right here in front of buck while he's trying to watch tv uh will you move in she she moved in with 118 simoleons Ooh, that's another hundred to add okay get up here and add that 
<laughs> Hold on, bank online, deposit 100. We're, t we're saving every bit of money we can get. Oh my God, okay. She just wants to be best friends with Johnny. She doesn't have any romantic wants towards Johnny. So she has been cheating on Tank with Johnny. Um, and that it would be very, very upsetting to Tank because he's a little bit of, uh, he doesn't like aliens. Let's just say that. He doesn't like aliens, just like his dad. And I think he would be very upset to know that his girlfriend and future baby mama has been cheating on him behind his back with an alien, uh, Johnny. So I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I just don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so she she's moved in now, and he's going to go put her money in the bank account. He's like, we got to get out of here. And they do. They need their own place, right? They got to get out of here. Um, and let's check on Floyd. Floyd has three days before he becomes a child. Erin, oh, she was supposed to be at work. Oh, God, baby. Oh, baby bump. Okay, so that was the last baby bump she just got now Friday at 3. So Saturday at 4. Uh, we are going to have our tank and Aaron, baby. <laughs> okay, they have a thousand simoleons saved up. It's not quite enough to move yet, but they're working on it. They're working on it. They both have jobs. So Aaron is a hostess in the culinary career. She makes 125 simoleons a day. And like I said, Tank works as a drill instructor. So they are working on getting their own place. And General Buzz is being kind and letting them live here uh, for the moment. Did her bu did her bump? Oh no! What happened to her bump? Oh god. Um. Okay. Let's check. Let's check. Where is? Oh no! We can't check. We can't check. It's gonna tell us the gender. It reset. Okay. Well, that's all right. You know what? You know what? I think you, you know what I think happened. I think because she wasn't part of the household, they just automatically get the pregnant belly. But when she came in, we actually got her her first bump. I don't think it went back to the first bump. I think she probably was on her first bump. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, she's first bump. That's okay. We got two days. That gives us time. That gives us time. <laughs> Oh, that's right. It doesn't tell us the gender. Oh, God. I'm thinking of Sims 3. You're right. The gender's at birth. You're right. The gender's at birth for Sims 2. I'm sorry. You're right. It won't tell us the gender. It tells us if it's twins or not. Um, I don't know if I want to find that out. Hmm. Let, okay, let's find out. Let's find out then. We'll just know if it's twins. That's all right. That's why I don't like doing it in The Sims 2. So we'll just do it. We'll just do it. You guys are absolutely right about the gender. Jeez Louise, Cindy. <clears throat> so we'll do pregnancy scanner. Holy freaking crap. Why? Why? Why is Strange Town like this? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no I told you guys if it was twins we gotta go by the gender of the first baby because it makes me choose <laughs> oh my god what are we gonna do three four five six seven so she can't have twins though what are we gonna do she's been pregnant for 32 babies 32 babies 32 hours you had it show that once and it didn't happen mary hmm what are we gonna do 32 babies <laughs> okay i gotta think about this um because if she's been pregnant for 32 hours that means she should be giving birth I don't know why she went back to one bump. I don't understand what's happening here. Oh, pets don't count? Oh, I thought pets counted. Pets don't count towards the number? Oh, maybe that's in Sims 3 that they count. Okay, great, then she can have twins. We're good to go. <laughs> so yeah, she should. Oh, 32, oh, okay. 
tw- so she conception at zero hours, first bump at 25, second bump at 49 or 50 hours. Yeah, so she's we're right on time. We're right on track, guys. She only should have her first bump. Good Lord, have mercy. This is complicated. Okay, she only should be on her first bump. She's going to be getting her second bump tomorrow. And then we'll have the third bump. So we'll we'll have the baby on Sunday. Okay. No, I do not use 18-hour pregnancy anymore. We'll have the baby on Sunday. She's going to have twins. Pets don't count. And we're good to go. <laughs> I can't believe we're having twins. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, let me find out what letters we're on for the names so we are on the letter m but i already have hold on i think i already have a letter m name let me go check and then i don't know what comes after a letter m so let me check let me just make sure and i'll press play so you guys aren't too bored while i while i check this um give me one second here Oh, there's look there's general fuzz oh he's so cute we got to take care of him i feel like he never gets any attention from us i feel like he never gets any attention everybody's just too busy with their own crap <laughs> so let me i'm just double checking to see if i have a letter m name on my channel members and then if not we can move on and it takes me like forever to check this, so I'm so sorry. Okay, we do. So if it's a M name, the baby's name is gonna be Mitchy, which is one of my super fans. So she's gonna get a name a baby named after her. If it's a girl, if it's a boy, we'll name him Mitch. And then the next letter, y'all, the next letter after M, let's see, do we have any N's? We have nervous. So do we have, and we don't have any O's anymore. All of our O's are gone. So our next letter will be O. So you guys can start putting in your, let me just make sure I don't have any O names either. We already have a Olya in Sims 3. Um, so, okay. So you guys are going to be putting in names for the letter O for the second baby. <laughs> so put in your baby names for letter o and don't put olba we're not naming the baby olba <laughs> okay i am really surprised it's twins i did not see twins coming and that means we're gonna have to get them out of here even faster because my god we're gonna have three babies in here you put olba <laughs> Olba gets immediately taken off. Anytime you guys put anything with ELBA on the ending, it gets immediately taken off of the spreadsheet. So don't waste your time. Give me a real name. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Pinberry, Kokiri Nerd, and Moobeam. Moobeam, I'm sorry. Oprah Winfrey. Oprah's a good name. Odessa's a good name. Olga, you guys have got some good ones. Put them in the, put them in the form. Oh, look, he's talking to the baby. How cute. He's talking to the baby. Opal. Ooh, I love Opal. Opal. That's a really pretty name. We need boy and girl. Okay, this is just a cluster. I'm about to pick you Sims up and move you. This is not working out. This household's getting crazy. Okay, you come downstairs, and now we need a double bed now for them to sleep in. So I think I'm going to have to make this... <sighs> Do we have room for a double bed anywhere? <gasps> Otis. Oh, I like Otis. I like Oleander. Those are all good. Thank you for the follow. It's Twi it's Twina and Pokey Pants. Okay, let's sell this. We're going to sell this. We're going to sell this. Can we get a double bed up here? That is the question. No, no, we can't. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to take over the gym. We're gonna have to make the gym, we're gonna have to switch the gym up. Okay, we're gonna have to move the exercise equipment in here for now. And we're gonna have to make this the gym. I mean, make this their room. And let's take this in here as well. No, let's take this here. We'll move this in here. 
All right, so now they have a place to sleep. I'm not really going to decorate it or anything right now because they're going to be moving out very soon. Uh, maybe we should put the... We're going to put this in there as well. Not that. We're going to put the whole desk in here so that they can use this to keep up with their money. No, dang it. And let's put the chair in there. Okay, very good. So this is now Tank and Aaron's room for the time being. And Buck is going to be, uh, Bu General Buzz is going to have to do his working out in this room. All right. Oh, man, this is getting complicated. This house. Jeez. All right. <laughs> yeah, the phone's in the bedroom. You know what? We could move the phone back to the gym. Let's move the phone back to the gym. That's a good idea. Yeah, that way it won't wake them up. Okay, finally. Finally, we can get started here. Um, she wants to do a bunch of dumb stuff. Kristen is not doing good, y'all. She's starving. Okay, she made sandwiches. Good, she cooked. Thank goodness somebody cooked. <laughs> I know, it would be crazy if we got Ophelia as a name or Olive. That'd be crazy. I would totally do it, though. Okay, time for lunch, everybody. Come on. Now, Aaron and Kristen used to be roommates, and now they're roommates again under very different circumstances. <laughs> the newspapers are in there because nobody ever cleaned them up. This house is a filthy mess. <laughs> oh, let's sell these flowers, too. Uh, maybe we can get somebody to clean here. I'm trying to check on everybody. They're playing freaking red hands under here. Oh, there's the salsa for you. There's the salsa for you. Thank you for the follow, Mama Polly. And Matthew, just get out of here. God, you're just clogging up the works. Okay, he wants to talk to Kristen. So let's, you know what? Let's do some wants here because you're just getting, things are getting ridiculous. Actually, go eat. And you're eating, you're eating. You can go eat too. Everybody, let's just go eat. And let's take a, let's look at the kid. The kid's doing all right. <laughs> Um, Buck's doing all right. Go get yourself a, a plate. Can you not get yourself a plate? You can only clean up and call to meal. I don't know what to say about that. Thank you for the follow, our freak. <laughs> the toddler is General Buzz and Kristen's child, Floyd. We need to change his last name to Grunt. But right now he's Floyd Lost. And I'm okay with him staying Floyd Lost for the moment. Matthew needs someone to love. You know what I was thinking about for Matthew is possibly River. Remember River from college and River never found anybody to love and he's just wandering the streets alone. Matthew might be a good match for him. <laughs> no, if there's more than one name uh, submitted, it automatically just uh, condenses it down to one. Yeah. Nikki did a lot of awesome stuff on that spreadsheet, so it works really well. Um, thank you for the follow, your guy, Kevin. No, River was gay. That. Oh, wait, is River straight? Oh, God, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like... So I thought River was gay, but you know what? I think he is straight, and that... I think he is straight. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I can't keep up with my Sims, uh... I can't keep up with every sim in the game's gender preference. I try my best. So Floyd only has two days left before celebrating his birthday. And Buck will become an adult in just a few days. So we're going to see if Buck is going to end up going to college. Right now, Rip is in college and he... Or no, Rip's not in college. Right now, nobody's in college. <laughs> nobody's in college. We already played Rip in college. So if he goes, he'll be the only one. And I'm just doing a little check on everybody, making sure everything's going okay. Why don't you recycle that, buddy? And he wants to talk to Kristen and give a back rub to Kristen. We're gonna, I'm going to get everything straightened out. Good Lord. <laughs> Blair. Blair is going to be in here some somewhere. Thank you for the follow, the real, oh, real. All your sims are by. That's not a bad idea, really, because then anybody could get with anybody. I should add the uni with townies. Oh, yeah, I will. I will. Oh, you mean now? That's okay. I'm going to do it. I can do it even when there's people in there. It doesn't matter. Oh, I know what you're saying. I see what you're saying. 
Uh, thank you for the follow, Che Che. Thank you for the follow, Taylor Sophia. And okay, let's do a meme. I see what you're saying, uh, Miravel. That's a good idea, actually. I think I will do that. Um, but right now, let's do a meme. Let's do a meme. And we'll wait and see if uh, Buck decides to go to college. If he does, then I can add, then I can, uh, maybe I'll just turn his aging off if he does. And that way I can add the college that actually has townies in it before he goes. So that'll be my solution for that. Okay, meme time. Yay, we got the meme time emote. Thank you guys. That's awesome. Let's see what kind of memes we have here. Okay, well, I want to show this is a this is like a this is like a cross between a meme and a commercial. So I'm going to show this. The, these this is some more uh really awesome Sims 2 music videos that Simmergetic made. So we're going to watch these cuz I said I was going to show these today. Okay. Oh god, it's trying to get me to sign up for um Oh god. I'm going to have to try and get this out of Facebook because it shows my real name on here. Am I like, not my real name, but my last name. And I really don't want to show my last name to the world. You know what I mean? Because there's some crazy people out there. So let me see if I can watch the, I might have to find, I might not be able to do this right now, Simmergetic, if you're still watching. I need, I need them not on Facebook because <laughs> I can't show them through Facebook. Um, I don't have Facebook, and so that's why it constantly shows my name. It's like, make sure you sign up for an account. And so it just continues to pop up with my name on there. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. If you have them on Twitter, I can do it from there too. Twitter or YouTube. Um, but yeah, go guys, go follow Simmergetic on YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, whatever. All the stuff that you're on. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'll try to show those when you get them somewhere else. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Oh my god. Oh, that's not a real commercial. That's Rhett and Link. I'm not going to show that because I, I think I'll get a copyright on that. Um, Big Top Cup... Oh, we're doing memes, not commercials, for God's sake. Let's see... What kind of meme? I'm, I'm scrolling through the memes. <laughs> Somebody made a Cindy face. I can't, I cannot pass by my own face. I'm like a road runner. My surname is not pleasant. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, when your parents walk, I could do a full screen, but I'm still scared it's gonna flash my name. So I'm not gonna take the chance. Um, when your parents walk in as the Sims 2 woohoo cutscene plays. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Esmeralda, that's my name. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, I gotta do a poop on that. And then uh, I can't send my family any pictures of my cat because they end up editing her into raw chicken. Oh God, it's one of those hairless cats. <laughs> I think they're cute. I think they're so cute. But yeah, he does kind of look like a raw chicken. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, I can't. I don't know what that one has on it. Oh, that's a blank. Oh, that's a blank. When Cersei gives birth to Loki's kids and you look at their eyebrows. <laughs> oh man, you guys are so funny with my disappointed face. You want a hairless cat? Nursery rhymes with Justin Fletcher. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that's funny. All right, thanks guys for the memes. Okay, let's go. I'm my fake identity is is Pleasant Sims. <laughs> that's my that's my other life. That's my alter ego. Okay, back to this crazy family. Um, let's see. Let's try to take care of some needs. Let's try to get everybody situated. Let's check on the baby. Oh God, somebody needs to take this baby to the potty. Who's gonna take this baby to the potty? His mama. Yeah, take take this baby to the potty. Potty train him. Whew. <laughs> Cindy YouTube, that's my name. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Amanda. 
<laughs> Pleasant Cindy Sims. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> First name Pleasant, last name Sims. That's right. Cindy's just my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Only 90s kids remember that Cindy's full name is Cindy Sims. <laughs> okay, you did not take that kid to the potty. I saw you. You take that kid to the potty. Yeah, so we're going to do something a little bit different with Buck. For one thing, if he wants to go to college, I'm going to just turn his aging off so he doesn't age up. Also, because he would be going on a different round than Jill because they're like one day off. So that's how I'm going to handle that. And then I'll add the the Strange Town that the Strange Town University Strange Town University La Fiesta Tech that actually has the townies in it, because last time we had an empty college and that was not fun. That was not fun. I want those townies back. <laughs> okay. Are, oh, because somebody was in the shower. That's why. All right. Let's go do it again. I see you over here just farting hearts at General Buzz. Let's get this baby to the potty. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, flowing girl. <laughs> Kristen is hot for Buck. She was hot for Buck? What? Buck's a teenager. Okay, I don't think we got the kid to the potty. He's not going to go. He's too tired. Dang it. All right, get him in his crib. Get him in his crib. We tried our best. Kristen also needs to look for a job, y'all. She still wants to get a job in the medical career, so let's have her also go look for a job. Um, she has not yet secured employment. My last name is Lothario. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, she's looking for a full-time job. And then if you are, oh my God, we gotta take care of this one. There's too much happening. I can't keep up with everybody. Take a shower. I don't know, go get go get another sandwich. Um, Kristen, yeah, God. Um, use the bathroom, for God's sake, clean that toilet. Clean that toilet. <laughs> I have a lot of names. I have many names. And they're they're all a variation of Cindy and Pleasant and Sims. <laughs> the routing in this house is really bad. Well, it's just the way the house is built. Not necessarily the routing, but yeah, just the way the house is built causes the routing to be very bad. And especially when you have 15 Sims in here. It does not help. Oh, she wants to get a skill point too. I'm going to lock that in because that's going to help her get uh, promoted in her job. Did she make it upstairs? She did not. She did not. Okay, let's... Let's find a job. Let's find a job. Somebody asked me what my favorite world to play in The Sims 3. Well, it's probably my own pleasant view, but besides that one, um, I like to play Sunset Valley. I really like all the worlds in The Sims 3. Um, except for I don't really play the supernatural world that much, to be honest. But I like uh, I like Riverview and Sunset Valley and the other one. Shopping, just kidding, salsa. <laughs> All right, well, you're going to have to wait a second. Um, law career. Okay, look again. We don't want law. We want medicine. We want medicine. And then you, we'll turn it on salsa tomorrow because I think I'm going to try to get everybody to bed right now. Okay, you go ahead and go to sleep. How's the poor kitty doing? Oh, he's doing all right. How are you doing, Buck? Nobody's checked on you in a long time. Okay, he's over here sleeping. The kid's in bed. You're in bed. You are eating. Okay, go ahead and finish eating. And then you get... Oh, my God. Look again. You sleep here. Lucky Palms is beautiful. It really is, but I honestly haven't played in it that much. But it's probably my favorite world as far as how it looks. Military. You got one more shot. Come on, medical. Come on, medical. Cross your fingers. Science. Dang it. Nope. Okay, no job for you today. Um, so you can just go ahead and go get some food and then go to sleep. 
Yeah, it's getting hard to keep up with all these sims. Oh my God. And we're about to have eight sims in this house. Whew. I, I play Sims 2, 3, and 4, and sometimes Sims 1. <laughs> Cindy Crumple Bottom, that's it. That's it. <laughs> How'd you guess? How'd you guess? <laughs> Sunlit Tides, I haven't really played with it very much. I don't think I've ever, actually, I don't think I've ever played with it, to be honest with you. So I don't really have an opinion on it. My first store world that I got for The Sims 3 um, was it, I got a pack that was Hidden Springs and Monte Vista. And I really like both of those. I don't know if it's just because those were the first like store worlds I got. So I played in them a lot, but I do really like them. <laughs> I did not say that, Doris. No, I did not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Starlight Shores. All the worlds are beautiful in their own way. Yeah, I haven't ever I I don't I don't think you even think I have sunlit tides. Okay, the kids still sleeping, Kristen. All right, you need to go get some sleep. That's what you need to do. Go go get in bed. Don't worry about cleaning up right now. Can do that later. Man, all these Sims and they only have $744. Why won't you get in bed? Oh, are we gonna have to reset bed? Reset the bed. Ah crap, she won't get in bed. Um I can't reset the bed. Let me just try to reset it like that. Oh no, I kicked General Buzz out of the bed. Let's see if that'll work. Yep, that did that did the trick. All right, now you go to sleep. <laughs> Everybody go to sleep. <laughs> Cindy Caliente Goth. <laughs> it wouldn't let me clear the smart beds. Oh, you don't do that from there. You got to do it from the adjust menu. Oh well, it's all right. It it I got it. I got it. And let's see who is not sleeping. Oh, why are you not sleeping with your girl? No, get up. Why are you? Don't sleep in there. That's not your bed anymore. That's not your bed anymore. Let's, um. Let's. No, 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 no. Let's clear all. Let's start over. We'll start everybody over. <laughs> Cindy Longman. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, where's my bed? <laughs> All right, let's, I'm going to save right here because God, I don't like playing huge households like this because it just gets very chaotic and hard to keep up with everybody and hard to really focus on anybody and, and their individual wants. But sometimes it's necessary you know, to play a big house like this. And you just got to deal with it. You just got to deal with it. Hot drinks really gets you going. No, uh, my name is not Cynthia. No, it's just Cindy. Just Cindy, not Cynthia. The baby's dying. The baby's not dying. Um, thank you for the follow, Dawn Dizzy. Okay, actually, yeah, he's doing, the baby's doing fine. The baby that's alive. The baby that's born. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at little Floyd, y'all. He's so cute. Look at, he looks like a tiny little man. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Absolutely not a cult. <laughs> Aww, Floyd. Look at him. He's a, he's a little chubby boy. He's a little chubby boy. <laughs> Cindy Hamsters, that's my real name. You got it. You figured it out. It's Hamsters. Okay, he's going to take a bath. Um, let's check on you. You're still sleeping, so she's still doing really good, actually. Uh, the one that matters the most, Erin, she is doing really well. And she's... Isn't she a secondary... Is she secondary romance or a secondary pleasure? She's a secondary pleasure, actually. Let's give her some more points here. 
Um, thank you for the follow, Daddy Legs T. Tank has the night off. The night? Did his hours change? No. I don't know why he has the night off, but okay. He has the day off, actually. And he's still sleeping, so I'm just going to let them sleep. Let's check on Kristen. She made breakfast. She's always cooking for everybody. She's so sweet. She, I swear, she's making like 95% of the food in this house. Let's put these away. And she needs to take a bath and go get some sleep. She needs to take a shower and go get some sleep. Let's make sure the baby's all right. Let's see if we can potty train him today. Oh, look at General Fuzz. <laughs> Hot drinks really gets you going. Warms you up when you feel you're slow. When. Um, look at this. I think that I think that he is like obsessed with the fish. He loves the fish. He's always over here looking at him. Oh, that's cute. Maybe he's gonna be in nature. Maybe he's gonna have a nature hobby. I don't think so. He wants to get potty trained. Let's see. Nope, he doesn't have a nature hobby. I was hoping he would. Thank you for the follow, Chow Fun King and Thomas Campboy. He thinks he's a cat. <laughs> General Fuzz is so cute. Look at him go. Aww. That's Tank's Tank's beloved pet there. Thank you, Mega Sims. All right, let's see if we can get this baby on the potty and get him uh, down to take a nap. He probably he needs a bath too, but he can that can wait. Kristen is so tired, man. She's like the mom of this house. She's the mom of everyone here. <laughs> She's just cooking and taking care of babies. She's like, I just want to be a doctor. Why am I here? <laughs> Floyd's sign is, he is a Pisces. So he's going to be, I believe that's knowledge. I believe that's knowledge. Um, yeah, he's going to be a knowledge sim. So he's curious. He's curious about the fish. And let's go ahead and put him down. I'll get his dad can put him down and Kristen can just go. She needs to go get some sleep. General Buzz, it's time for you to take over child duties. So go put Floyd in the, actually you can, how tired is he? I think we could give him a bath first. Let's try to give him a bath. Bathe Floyd. Oh, okay. Aaron and Tank are awake now. So Aaron, right now I'm going to have her go. She wants to go on a date, but who does she want to go on a date with? That's the question. I'm going to have her go get some breakfast because we got to keep those needs up so nothing happens to this baby. She should be getting her second baby bump today. <laughs> You've been playing The Sims 3 since we did World Adventures. World Adventures is so fun to me. And I normally don't like that kind of gameplay in The Sims, but I don't know. They just made it so fun in The Sims 3. <laughs> My daddy was a Pisces. I like Pisces, usually. <laughs> oh, I got a save. All right, we'll do a save game. Um, thank you for the follow, Mediocre Snacky. And what is going on in this house? My God, what are you people doing now? Did you get yourself some breakfast? I don't know if you did, but eat some more. You're not full enough for me. Kristen is sleeping. Tank is... He needs to get some food, too. He's trying to give her a back rub. How sweet. He's trying to give his pregnant girlfriend a back rub. Okay, just get whatever that is. I don't care. Just get something out of the fridge. Get something out of there. Yes, I know. Just do it again. Do it again. I hate the face stuffing too. It is really annoying. It is. Oh, look at Buck. Oh, he's playing with General Fuzz. Okay, let's check on you, Buck. You get no attention, poor guy. He gets no attention. Um, go to the bathroom. Get some leftovers. And why don't we put, you got to put the baby down. Just put him down. We'll bathe him later. The nanny never showed up. Do we have a nanny? I don't think we have a nanny here. I don't think. Do we? Oh, food bowl needs to be filled up. That's true. We'll get him. We'll get you to do that. 
and then you can get some leftovers too. Man, the food goes so fast here because there's so many people to feed. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Susie Mon 3004 PL. <laughs> Toilet's leaking. Oh well. That's not a major prior priority right now. Right now, I'm just trying to get keep everybody's needs up. Like basically, when you have this many Sims in a house, you can't do any of their wants, hardly. It's mostly just trying to keep everybody alive at this point. Um, I am ready for Tank and Aaron to move out. <laughs> but they don't have enough money yet. They only have a thousand simoleons. Thank you for the follow, my cat Bob. Everybody's getting the day off because it's Saturday and that's just how it lands. He's off. He's off. Everybody's off. No, uh, Aaron. Well, Aaron's off because she's on maternity leave. Otherwise, she would have had to go. But she is going to get another hundred bucks today. So that's going to help. We're going to put that in savings as soon as they get it. Thank you for the cheers, Emergetic. Which Sims do I love the most? That is impossible for me to answer because I love all my Sims and I play so many Sims. So many. Like I'm playing like how many neighborhoods now? Oh, we got, we got another baby bump. But if you're asking me, I'll tell you who I love the best in Pleasant View because that's a question people ask me a lot. So we're going to have the baby Sunday at 10 a.m., guys. We got 25 hours left. Um, so in Pleasant View, I love Nina, Lilith, and Cassandra. The best. The best. And other than that, except the oldies, I hate the oldies. <laughs> I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I just don't like to play them. I just don't find it that, them that much fun to play. Okay, what are you guys up to over here? Go to the bathroom. Unclog that. Unclog that toilet. <laughs> I love the beakers, yeah. I mean, they're evil and horrible, but they're still fun to play. I love Nervous Subject. He's one of my favorite Sims. He's my favorite Sim in Strange Town is Nervous. Nervous, and I also love Rip. I love Nervous and Rip. Yeah. The crib's in the dining room because there's no other... Because I like to keep the baby downstairs and there's no other place to put it. That fits. All right, Book. You're doing fine. He wants to be friends with Aaron. Oh, how cute. Okay, we'll have them chat a little bit. And let's... The baby's doing fine. Whew. And we're back to Tank. What are you doing? You need to go get... You need to go take a nap. Once the baby ages up to a child, hopefully they'll be moved out of here. But if they're not, we can put them in this... Uh, one of these rooms up here. This room here. Okay, why don't you go take a nap? And you... You're doing fine. You need to go, I guess, go to the bathroom. God. And let's see. She also wants to be friends with Buck. That's so cute. I like that. And she wants to give love to General Fuzz. Where's General Fuzz? <laughs> no, The Sims 2 graphics aren't bad at all, especially if you get some uh, default replacements like I have. If I, like, honestly, I don't think I could play anymore without my default replacement graphics. I mean, I could play, I could play. I just wouldn't enjoy it as much. I like to have my defaults. Okay, the baby's awake and he needs to be bathed. Buck, you wanna do some brother mom? <laughs> you wanna be a brother mom? <laughs> Go do some brother momming and bathe this child. <laughs> I enjoy downloading default. Well, I've already defaulted everything, so I don't have to do it ever again unless I want to change something. But I enjoyed the process of it. Um, it's I like sometimes I just like to do mindless stuff like that. And so I just listen to podcasts and download. Oh, get get out of here, Aaron. We're trying to use this. We're trying to use this bathroom. Get out of here. Um, let's go find General Fuzz so you can give him some love. I don't know why things feel calmer right here. Oh, he's on the counter. He's on the counter. Go give him love. Go give him a hug. He needs a hug. And you... Okay. Oh, these two are sleeping. All right. That's fine. Tank, what are you doing with yourself? You want to be friends with Kristen? Um, I don't know what to tell you to do with yourself. Go... Go get some leftovers. <laughs> she wants to flirt. What? She wants to flirt. <gasps> she wants to give him a back rub. 
Ew, she wants to give him a back rub? That's weird. That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Angelica Marie. <laughs> um, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to lock that in. I already got these two locked in, and that's... If she's rolling that, she'll probably roll it again. It's weird. It's very weird to me. Okay, how's the baby? Oh, we got somebody's got to bathe this child. You didn't bathe him? Ah, oh, why didn't you bathe him? Let's take Okay, hold on. We're going to take him back upstairs. We're going to bathe him again. If she wakes up and she still wants to, we'll have her do it. But it ain't going to be good for anybody involved. <laughs> it's not going to be involved for I know. We'll we'll have her do it if she still wants to do it when she wakes up. But I'm just saying it. What? No, why are you using our bat? Oh, God. All right. Well, somebody take this kid to the potty then. Dang it. Potty train him. What's wrong with you? <laughs> this is just really something. We got to get this baby born, though, so we can so we can give you guys your points. Whoever wins, if it's a boy or girl, the first one born. It's exciting. Can't believe we're going to have twins. I'm just... I don't know what I'm going to do in this house. I, I just don't know. Um, let's see. When do these people go back to work? Tank goes back to work on Monday. And Erin, she's going to get 125 today and 125 tomorrow, which is going to give us 200 more. So they'll have 1,200 plus the 49, 25, and 20. No, they'll still have 1,200. I don't think 1200 is going to be enough to move into their own apartment. So I think they're going to be stuck here probably till the next round. <laughs> it does. It does look like a good candidate. This house could definitely be remodeled and set up so much better. It really could. Like this kitchen is way too big in this dining room. We could definitely add like two more bedrooms over here. Definitely. Okay, so let's check on everybody again. You're still asleep. You know what? You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Just just get up. And we need to have Kristen go look for a job again and see if there's anything in the... See if there's anything available today. I could not live in a house like this with this many people. I would go insane. Like, I just couldn't take it. It would be loud all the time. You would never get any rest. <laughs> yeah, they must be doing... There's something in the water. There's something in the water. It's just twin, twin Mageddon in here. Um, she's looking for a full time. You should go back to The Sims 2. It's really, really fun. I mean, it's way more fun than The Sims 4. It really is. It's just, there's so much... I don't know. The Sims are just better. It's just a better game. Desiderata ha Valley houses are the worst. Yes. Yes, they are. Look again, natural scientist. I would too. I'd be locked in my room every day, Luann. I would too. Um, fire service, no. We need a medical career. I think we might take her down. We might have to take her down to the career services center. No matchmaker. No, that position is filled. Matchmaker position is filled. <laughs> post office. Nope, not post office. And politics. Nope. Okay, Kristen. You know what? Why don't you go to the bathroom here and we're going to take you down to the Career Services Center, which just happens to be open on Saturdays in Strange Town. We're going to get you a job. Because this household, they need some money. <laughs> they need some money really bad. I like Desiderata Valley, and I don't know if I like it just because I like to remodel it. <laughs> but I do like to remodel it. Okay, we're going to walk down to a community lot, and that's going to give us a break. That's going to give us a break from these people, and we're going to go down to the career services. And we're going to we're going to be ending this stream with a baby, with a baby being born, a baby being born. No one can replace Melba. That's right. Nobody. Thank you for the follow, uh, Little Boy Blue and Gaia Stones, if I didn't say that. Thank you. Do I have any plans to play the other hoods? Um, I don't really have any concrete plans right now because I'm playing like 
Pleasant View, Strange Town, Sims 3 Pleasant View, and Edgewood. So I'm playing four different neighborhoods right now. I cut Fair Play out, kind of. Um, so, but maybe in the future, we, I might take a break. If I just, if I feel like I want to take a break from Pleasant View or Strange Town, um, then we can play one of the other neighborhoods instead for a while. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Okay. Oh, hello, hello, Barb. Barb is looking good. So Barb is actually the one who was gay from college, not River. I said earlier that River was gay, but he, he wasn't. It was Barb. And that's why they couldn't get together. Because River wanted a lady, but so did Barb. <laughs> but Barb did find love with, uh, what's her name? Margaret. Margaret Howe. So she and Margaret were friends. And then as soon as uh, Barb aged up to an adult, she and Margaret fell in love. And it was so sweet. <laughs> okay, no, Kristen, you, got, you can't do that. You got to go over to the job notice board. And we're going to find a job in medicine. Let's see here. Medicine. So you, you don't have to. Okay, she put in, we're going to say she put in her resume on the computer. Um, thank you for the follow, Little Mama Scotland. I got an Ask Me Anything from Cloudberry Sims, who says, Have I tried out any of the mods from Sun and Moon Factory for The Sims 2? Um, I ha those are on my list of things to check out, but I haven't done it yet. Um, the cows and chickens and all that stuff. So that's something I, I want to try, and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Let's take this job. So she's going to get to start at level three as a nurse. 240 simoleons a day. Heck yeah. So she's going to take that job. And we're going to head back to... Oh my god, now she just wants to get skills. She don't want to flirt with Tank anymore. <laughs> so let's walk back home. Which I'm glad for. But if she rolls a want for it again and she's awake, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be a nurse with Jenny. She's going to be working with Jenny. Yep. That might be a little weird considering her man, it, like, doesn't like Jenny and Jenny's family. So that's going to be a little bit weird. Um. Oh, there we go. And thank you for the follow, Mythka. Yeah, Barb is kind of like the strange town Sandy Broody. She kind of is. <laughs> As far as her looks go. But I think Barb... Wasn't Barb a family sim? I think Barb might have been a family sim. Okay, so Crystal will be back in an hour. That gives us a little time with one less sim on the lot. And what are we doing back here in the backyard? Oh, we're playing some football with the boys. <laughs> playing some football with the boys. And he... Take... Uh, Buzz, he needs to get some food and then he wants to work out on the exercise machine. So let's see. Oh no, there's no food and Kristen's not here to cook. Whatever will they do? <laughs> You're going to have to serve that bread. <laughs> we, this house needs more bread. Go serve that pumpkin bread. Needs more bread, y'all. <laughs> Pizza. No, they're going to get bread. Oh no, look. Uh, Aaron was cooking some burnt potato or burnt hot dogs. And, oh no, Buzz got sunburnt. He got sunburnt out playing uh, football. <laughs> yes, thank you for the bread in chat. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, saucy kitten. Go with, to go with the burnt toast. <laughs> And let's see, what else we got? We're just waiting on the baby to be born now. She Is she coming home? Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes, my angel. My shining superstar. Um, She needs to get some food. So you got bread, you got hot dogs. What do you want? What do you want? Get another hot dog. Get a burnt hot dog. <laughs> Hot. This is what we're serving in the Grant household. Pumpkin bread and burnt hot dogs. Mmm. <laughs> I know the house is going to fall apart without her. Thank you for the cheer, Bastie. <laughs> All right. So let's see what everybody's up to. You're good. You're not so good. Okay. You're going to sleep. That's a good idea. We don't want anything to happen to this baby. And you, she just wants to get skills now. She no longer wants to flirt with her stepson. 
So that's good. <laughs> that's good news for us. Yeah, General Buzz got uh, sunburnt because he was out in the sun for too long. Let's see. Skill point, cleaning, mechanical, and logic. So I don't think they have a chess table. I don't think there's anything you can do for fun, and she needs to have fun. What is her hobby? Let me check. Her hobby is painting. Oh, her hobby is painting. Okay, we need to get her an easel, but I don't want to spend the money either. I don't want to spend the money, so I don't know, Kristen. It's up to you. Do what you want. Do what you want, I guess. <laughs> and then tank. Um, he's good. Okay, so it's 6 p.m., only two days left before Buck's birthday. Oh no, Aaron! No, Aaron! Aaron's pregnancy is not going smoothly. Aaron needs to take care of herself. Oh God, what do we do with the points? <laughs> what do we do with the points if she, if she has a miscarriage? Okay, she's not. She's not going to have a miscarriage. Okay, we're gonna take care of her. She's just gotta get more rest right now. Let's let, let's what, I'm just going to keep my eye on her. Oh God, Aaron, please hold on. Hold on, honey. Hold on and get your rest. As soon as she gets more rest than hunger, we'll get her up and get some food in her. Okay, come on. Get a little bit more rest. Get a little bit more rest. I don't care about anybody else right now, but this. Okay, let's get her up, get her to the bathroom, get her some food and get her back to sleep. Go eat that bread, honey. Go eat all that bread. Okay, what does she want to do? Okay, nothing weird. What? What is it? What happened? Oh, the baby crapped himself. Oh my god, nobody's taking care of the baby. <laughs> oh no, look at the baby. Oh god. Um, somebody get the baby. God, for God's sake, put Floyd in the crib. <laughs> the baby's coming tomorrow. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. All right, come on. Come on, eat the bread. Eat the bread. She's doing much better now. Tank is talking to her about rockets. Is General Buzz available to talk? I guess, whoever you are. Okay, now let's get her back to sleep. Let's get her back to sleep. We're back on track. We're back on track. <laughs> Thank goodness, we're back on track. Whew. Floyd is still wandering. Okay, somebody please take care of this child. Oh my god, we're gonna get this kid taken away. Um, he's trying to put him in bed. No. Wake up. Put him in bed, please. Oh, see, this is why it gets crazy. What was that? Did you guys see? What was that? I just saw something that looked like a ghost. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the cheer, Basti. Oh, and thank you for the cheer, uh, little mama Scotland. <laughs> baby pet, baby stinks. The baby stinks, but he's so exhausted he's not going to do anything. We have to let him sleep. Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? Go work out. That sounds like a good idea. Go work out. And let's check on... Okay, Erin's doing fine. She's getting her rest. Kristen just wants to get her skill points. She's... I don't know what she did for fun, but she did something. Go take a shower. Go study mechanical. You... He wants to be friends with Kristen, but we can't right now because she's busy. So, um, go to the bathroom and go to sleep. That sounds good. Buck, poor thing. Oh, he wants to get a skill point. Um, his hobby is weather. And so that doesn't really help us get a skill point. Maybe we can have him go. It's kind of late at night and he's kind of tired. So, oh, well. Oh well. I'll lock that in though, because that's more important to me than new clothes. Thank you so much for the two month the prime sub moonstruck for you. <laughs> you want a baby girl? <laughs> yeah, nature is related to cleaning. That is true. He could start by cleaning the house. Now, why would he do that? Oh my god, there's no light in here. <laughs> there's no light. Whew. <sighs> Y'all, I am ready to get some of these Sims out of this house, and instead we've got two more coming. Did she get her 125 today? What time does she get off? Okay, she should have got her 125 today, so I need to have them deposit that that money in. 
All right, let's go. Let's go. No, Buck, no. Go to sleep. For God's sake, go to sleep. Everybody just... Just go to sleep. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Ten hours left. Ten hours left. And then we have two more Sims in this household. Great. Great. Okay, let's go check on the baby. He's he's rested. He's pretty rested. But I'm going to let him keep sleeping. And I'm going to put... What's his face over here in the bed? I don't I don't even know who's who anymore. It's getting crazy. <laughs> no, I got that one on the day she moved in. I got that one. I I put that one in. That's what got them up to a thousand. Um, she learned a mechanical skill point. All right. Still no more wanting to give back rubs to Tank, so that's good news or bad news, however you want to look at it. Thank you so much for the, uh, oh, 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 thank you for the sub, Lisa Simmer, and thank you for the follow, Bewitching Lunar, Dogman, thank you for the Cheer Basti, and thank you for the follow, Six of Saints. Okay, let's get her to the bathroom, and maybe we can do, does she have to go to work tomorrow? That's what I need to know. Yes, yes, she does, so we need to get her to bed, actually. She has to go to work in just a few hours. Thank you for the follow, Lumpukin, and oh, there's that cheer. It's behind. And thank you for the cheer, M13. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're almost, we're at 77% hype train, y'all. Jump it on the train. <laughs> yep, we're gonna, we're having twins very, very soon. Very, very soon. Like eight hours. Okay, is everybody asleep? Is everybody asleep for once? I can't believe it. I'm going to save right now. I can't believe everybody in this house is asleep at one time. That is just amazing. Thank you for the cheer and other stuff. And thank you for the follow. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Whew. God, guys, this is a stressful household to play. It really is. It's just like trying to keep everybody alive is hard. And poor Floyd... Okay, he's finally awake. Let's see if Tank can get up in the middle of the night. Does he have to work tomorrow? No, he's off. So he's going to get up in the middle of the night, take care of the baby. We need to bathe him, first of all. He's he's stinky, as stinky as a, a baby can be. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Basti. Oh, we're 83% there, guys. Hop on that hype train. Floyd the Lost Boy. Yes, that's a very good way to put it, Steb. He's the Lost Boy for sure. Oh, God. Chris, uh, Kristen's got to go to her first day of work. Oh, she's doing good, though. She's doing good. Get up. Get up and get ready for work. And then you're feeding the baby. Okay, it's all going smoothly. It's all going smoothly. And you need to get some food. Oh, you need to get some of this bread. Get some of this bread. Thank you for the cheer, Lie Heart Fox. Oh, 89%, y'all. And thank you for the follow, Vivian. <laughs> This house is killing me. Um, we're going to get there, though. We're going to make it. We are going to make it. Yep, they're twins. But we're going to be... What you guys voted on is the first baby born, because it won't let me do both. Or then you'd all just get your points back. <laughs> Melba Egg. Choo-choo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the cheers, Sammy and Basti. Okay, so Kristen's going to her first day of work as a nurse. She's going to be pulling in the big bucks. And let's check on Erin. Okay, she's still doing well. She's still doing well. I'm actually going to wake her up now. Um, and I'm going to have her deposit her 125. Or 100, because we can only do 100 increments of 100. So now they have 1,100 simoleons saved up to get their own place. They need about 1,400 is what we're trying to hit, or 1,500. Um, oh, thank you so much. Uh, oh, Elena, Elena, thank you so much for giving out those 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. Oh my God, for giving those gift subs to K Lovely, Vax Attack, Dad Opinion, Hey Missy, Nashu, uh, March, Liz Khalifa, Blue Wall, Whale, uh, Rachel, 
and Binna 101. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. And uh, hey, that got us up to high trade level four, y'all. Thank you. And thank you for the follow, Ruru Jess. Thank you for the follow, Trashy Giraffe. And thank you for the follow, Meredetta. And then we have a beg for gift sub. Lucia F22 is begging for gift sub if anybody feels generous. And thank you for the cheer, uh, Shay Doubting. <laughs> this community is, a be is the best. Thank you so much, Alina. I really appreciate that. And thank you to everybody who watches and subscribes. Even if you can't subscribe, thank you for being here and watching. I appreciate that, too. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We're checking on Erin. And she's taking a shower. We've got 1,100 out of 1,500 simoleons saved for these guys. But they are definitely not going to make it. Well, I don't know. We have three days left. They might actually make it before the end of the round. <laughs> oh, an anonymous gifter gave Lucia F22 a gift sub. Thank you so much, anonymous. Aaron's peeking on the boys. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at ta uh, Tank down here with little Floyd. So let's see, Tank. You're actually doing really well. Yes, he wants to get a skill point, which he needs body skill and charisma. We're probably going to work on his body, especially because he wants to jump rope. So we're going to have him uh, go do some jump roping. And, oh man, it's only a couple hours till the baby's due, y'all. I got to get the baby name thing pulled up here so we can get ready for that. Who turned on the dang salsa? <laughs> And Therinka has begged for a gift sub if anybody feels uh, generous and wants to give Therinka. I hope I'm saying that right. Therinka? <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Baby is coming. And everybody's actually doing good for once. I managed to keep them all alive. And like I said, he wants to get a skill point. So yeah, let's have him go um, study cleaning. That's about as close as we can get to his any of his hobbies or things like that. And we have two days for him to decide if he wants to go to college or not. <laughs> Thank you so much, Danny, for giving Therinka a, a gift sub. Thank you so much. All right, who, so who are we checking in on now? Tank, you're doing fine. How's the baby? Baby needs to go to the potty really bad. So who's available? Tank or Buzz, for God's sake, get down here and put your child on the potty. We got one hour till the baby's due, y'all. One hour. One sim hour, not real live hour. One sim hour. I know we're already going over on stream time, but we have to get this baby born. I can't end the stream until the baby's born. Um, because we gotta we gotta distribute out those points that you guys gambled on. <laughs> okay, so he's putting him on the potty. I don't know if this kid's ever gonna get potty trained. Okay, another transient Sherpa has wandered in through the hospital's emergency entrance with, a, entrance with a llama. Both the Sherpa and the llama are screaming, and Kristen is able to understand neither of them. Kristen is the only one on duty right now. So should she examine the Sherpa or the llama? Ooh, I don't know. I think she would go for the Sherpa. She's not very sentimental. It, yes, she just got promoted. Yes, she just got promoted to intern. She did a great job, and she's coming home early. She's going to be here for the birth to help out. Good thing we're going to have a medical professional in the house when this happens. Yes, she is now an MD. All right, intern. Ooh, level four hype train. All right. Thank you so much for the cheer, Danny. Thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> Hopefully she won't be your intern, <laughs> Cersei. Okay, so the baby is coming very soon. She's up here dancing the baby out. She's gonna dance her baby out. <laughs> it gives you birth, makes you give birth earlier. Here we go. <laughs> oh God, all right, here it comes. Here it comes, y'all. All right, Tank, where are you? Better get up here. Your baby, stop jump roping. Come on, find your pelvis. I know you've got one and it's okay to move it for heaven's sake. Yes. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, Kristen is coming up here to assist with the birth. Two new babies in the family. Here we go. So it's a girl. Okay, whoever guessed female, you guys are the winners. The first.
first one is a girl and her name is going to be Mitchie because we are naming her after one of my super fans named Mitchie. Thank you so much for the cheer, Bastie and Blackie Shaky. Okay, and then they're both girls actually, so perfect. They're both girls. Two girl, two more twin girls. Is this our third set of two twin girls, guys? We got nothing but girls. We got nothing but girls. Okay, so we got, here they come. Nothing but girls. Floyd is like the only baby boy. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give you your points in a minute. Let's watch the cutscene first and let's name these babies. Okay, so we got a little blonde hair, kind of darker skin uh, with green eyes. Oh my God, get out of my way, wall. Hey, you guys, you know, we're trying to have babies here. We're trying to have babies right now. Okay, hold on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, applause, thank you. Okay, we're trying to put, put this baby down. We need to get the other baby. Get out of the way. Okay, no, put the, there we go. Now, where's the other baby? Here we go. I don't know where Tank is. I don't even know where he is. He wasn't even in here. Oh, we got a red hair. We got a red or a brown. Is that brown? Oh, we got a brown hair. We got one with brown and one with blonde. So this one has brown hair and what color eyes? What color eyes? Uh, they both have green eyes. Aww. Oh, screenshot. Okay, yeah, we're going to get a screenshot. We're going to get a screenshot with these two in the background. Acting like fools. We're trying to have a baby here and they're just like, you want to dance? You want to dance with me? <laughs> okay, so we got to pick the second name, guys. But let me get back. Let me get back here. Let's press play. Okay, so our first baby girl is Mitchie. So Mitchie, I hope you're watching this back. The baby is named after you. And then our second baby... Um, uh, thank you so much for the sub, C3 Miley Play. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, guys, so here comes the moment of truth. Uh, we're going to find out we need a girl name that starts with the letter O. And we're going to roll the pacifier now. <gasps> Odette. Odette. Oh, what a pretty name. What a pretty name. Thank you so much for the two month prime sub, huge lunatic. Okay, yes, we are naming her Odette. Mitchie and Odette. <laughs> Odette, I love that name. Whoever, uh... oh, it's 1D, it's 1D. Yeah, it's not 2D, this is not Odette, it's Odette. Yeah, it's 1D, but that's okay. I'll let that one, I'll let that slide because I like the name. <laughs> That was your name, Jody. Yay! Somebody farted on the babby. Who farted on the babby? <laughs> Mitchie and Odette are twin girls. <laughs> those are some. Those are some different kind of names, but I like them. I like them. <laughs> really gets you going. Won't you up when you feel you're slow? When do we always start a runaway? Okay, so I got to put in uh, Mitchie and Odette into the spreadsheet so we remember them. <laughs> and I got to get, I don't know what our next letter will be, but we'll find out. Um, thank you so much for the sub, Guitar Saka. Thank you for the cheer, Kim Arthur. Thank you for that 100 bits. And uh, let's see, thank you for the follow, uh, C3. And thank you for the sub, C3. All right, level four completed, guys. We are on the hype train today. <laughs> Audit would fit the Strange Town. It would fit Strange Town. That's true. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Nick Star. All right, guys, we made it. We made it to the end. Let me uh, choose this prediction outcome so you guys can get your points. So whoever voted for female, you were doubly right. We had two girls, and uh, you won the you won the pleasant points prediction today so here we go boom there's your points guys <laughs> i hope you got a lot of points it was 50 50 that was really close thank you for the follow loney kex 
are Ioni or Luff? I think that's I think that's Ioni. I can't tell the I's from the L's. I don't know. And oh, thank you so much, I Don't Eat Plastic, for gifting a sub to Alex, AGD1. Thank you so much. You got 2,173 points. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, it depends on how much you wager, how much you get back. So the more you wager, the more you get back if you win. If you lose, you lose everything you bet. So it's kind of fun. Kind of fun little wager. I'm going to have to come up with some more Pleasant Points rewards, guys. I'm going to come up with some more rewards than what we just have, too. Um, yeah, we could do a raid if you guys want to do a raid. We can raid somebody. Is there anybody out there? Is there any little guy out there playing The Sims 2 who could use our love? Oh, it's Lonnie. It's Lonnie. Okay, hello, Lonnie. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello, Lonnie. <laughs> Okay, so let me, I'm going to save here. God knows I don't want to lose this. And so next time, next week, Strange Town Saturday, we'll be back in this family. We will be saving up more money for Tank and Aaron to move out. And we're going to have to get some cribs for these babies. And it's going to be, it's going to be tough next week. It's going to be a tough couple of days for us next week while we try to save up money for Tank, Aaron, and Mitchie and Odette to move out. <laughs> And also, um, what, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, don't forget, guys, if you are a new subscriber, even if you are on a gift sub, you can join us for tomorrow's members only live stream where we're going to be playing Edgewood. We're going to be playing Gabriel, our romance exterminator. And the way that you get into that live stream is you have to join our Discord. So I'm going to put the Discord link here in the chat. If you're watching this back on YouTube, you can find it in the description box. And you need to join our Discord. You need to connect your Twitch with the Discord. Discord, and then you'll get access to the members only channels. And that's where I put the link to the members only live stream. So I hope to see some of you guys tomorrow, same time as this stream. And that one is on YouTube. But like I said, you have to be invited to that. So you have to be a current subscriber. And everybody else, don't worry if you can't become a subscriber. I do put the playbacks of those back up on YouTube a couple days later. And uh, so I think that's all I got going on. I'm going to have a new video out for you guys on Monday. And it's going to be on The Sims 2 this time because I wanted to make a Sims 2 video. <laughs> All right, guys, thank, and thank you so much for the follow the world of Dark Academia. So let me see who we can who we can raid. Let me see if anybody um, that I follow. Um, well, Tam is streaming. She's streaming Spyro. We could raid her. Um, unless there's anybody, is there anybody playing Sims 2, you guys said? Let me see. That's Sims 4. We don't want to do Sims 4. Um, let me see. Let me see before I go. Uh, nobody I follow is currently playing. I gotta, I gotta, let me see. Let's look for Sims 2. Who's playing Sims 2 out there? Um, we got, how many people, how many followers does this person have? Seven viewers. We got Silent Heather. We got PhD Simmer. Let's see. Who should we raid? Who should we raid? Okay, we're going to raid, um, I'm going to raid somebody that has a cam. So we are going to raid, uh, PhD Simmer. Okay, guys, so get ready. Thank you so much for watching the stream today. Thank you so much for the sub, X, X3 Oni. Thank you. And we're going to raid PhD Simmer, who's playing The Sims 2 now with nine viewers. So let's get ready to go, y'all. And thank you again so much for watching. Get ready for the raid in three seconds, two, one, bye. Have a great Saturday, guys.